Welcome hey. to Tuesday. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source <laughs> for the newest Atari 2600 homebrew. And I'm going to prove it today uh, because we have a world exclusive An premiere exclusive. <laughs> of one of the heavy hitters, CD-W, who is Chris Walton, who has done games like Juno First, Cheddary, and also... Where is it? Oh, it's somewhere. Star Castle Arcade. Oh, fuck, man. That's a really fucking good game. Yeah, so there you go. So we're going to be debuting his new game today. Is that up first? I see it's there's like an order. Of course it has to be. it's up first. But you yes. can do it last and just oh, fuck around. Tease and them? <laughs> slow. Oh, Make this a burlesque, that's, you know? <laughs> that's just mean. That's just mean. <laughs> um, I don't know what it is. Erlen doesn't oh, know what it is. I fucking definitely <laughs> don't know. I don't know what anything is. I know. I, I don't even know how it. I got here. It's... Chettery. Chettery. Not Chettery? Chettery. <laughs> There's such a subtle difference. It's a Russian word for yeah. four. Um, oh. So I don't know how to pronounce it. And, and people make fun of me every time. It was a I'm not Russian. charcuterie board. <laughs> charcuterie, yes. <laughs> it, he made charcuterie. Um, you get a little bit of cheese. So nobody ham. knows what this game is. And until we turn on the console... Uh, we will we will find out when we turn on the console. That's oh, the exciting part. Um, so we've got three games today: the secret new homebrew. That's all I can call it. Uh, Twenty twenty exclusive work in progress premiere from Chris Walton and Nathan Strum on graphics. So you know it's going to look good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're also going to be playing Frantic. Uh, this is kind of also an exclusive as well because I just got an update an hour before the show of a new build from Daryl Spice Jr. I think I remember this game. I was just way looking at back. all this stuff. Once we load it up, I'll probably yeah, have a better will. memory, but I do yeah. remember playing that. Uh, and Nathan did the artwork for all my games. Oh, there you go, CD-W. And we're going to be trying for the Oink patch. Oh, shit. Yeah, and I'm pretty confident in that. I, I played around with it a little bit uh, this week or last week, and it's like, eh, I think I can do it. I want to thank the Twitch subscribers who help support the show. Al Nefer, Armscar Coder, Cafe Man 2D, Captain Classic, Catalogs, Charles and Chuck, Dionoid, Dan ABC, Drexel, Glenn Main, Grey Defender, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC23, Jupiter Storm, 17, Carl G. Croco 2600, Mark Space, Inc., Metal Atari 1969, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, Packrat, VG, Cohog 2600, RC70, Repentless VG, Ricardo Pim, Socrates 0603, Spartan 581, Spicewear, Estimers 2008, The Welshman 89, Thunkus, Tiki Dan K, Tim of Legend, Tifos, and Trek MD. Most of them are here. Damn. You can support the show and subscribe for free too if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe. And, you know, you help support the show and you get your name right beside Erlen there in virtual space. You can almost touch it. Yeah, I can feel <laughs> that you're all. The presence of their name scrolling beside you. It's like you. a light emanating from. <laughs> the energy fills <laughs> us. <laughs> and Jeff make... Bezos feeds us. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And make, sure, make sure you're following, subscribe, and click a like on all the things Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And if you notice today, I'm wearing a new shirt. Oh shit. It's... This is the this is a new This is the new shirt. Rage reset. Yeah, which is, you know, we got a little kitten claw going on. Yep. And it is also designed by Nathan Strom. Nathan, and man. Thomas Yench, I believe, did the original uh, inspiration for it. And then uh, Nathan Strum swooped in and did the final design. And it's available now in the store if you want to get that, if you like t-shirts. Uh, let me get the link for that if you're interested or not. You don't have to be interested in it. But somebody was interested in it and did buy it. And sent us a picture of himself. Oh, Let me get shit. that up on the screen for everyone to see. Also, I have another thing I'm in love with. What is that? Is this mask that he's wearing. Yeah, That's all the designs are available not, in masks, too. Not just that it's... It could be any mask and I'd be happy. It's just so cool to see someone on the public transit <laughs> with a mask on. Yeah. You know, and being, you know, protecting the world from... That's right. What, what, I mean, this... Being the fucking, superhero he yeah. is. This is D-Train. This is... And oh, D-Train, man. probably riding the D-Train? I hope so. In New York? Because he's got a New York map behind him. He's giving himself away. Wow. Where he is. Uh, so he's wearing the Rage Reset shirt in black. And the cat... Uh, the cat design with the two cats 
pixel and Atari across his face, protecting the world. Um, so he said, uh, rage resetting and masking appropriately on the subway, that he said. So that yeah, is awesome to see. Yeah, it just feels like when you're walking around the world without a mask, it's like <laughs> you, it's like you don't have a condom on for society. It's <laughs> like right. you're just you're just being an asshole to the world. I had a moment where I was just ran into the superstore with without my mask, and yeah. I looked around and I was like, I feel like a fucking clown right now. Yeah. I just I felt like like I looked around and it was that first time where I clocked it and I was like, I am like one of the only people without a mask right now. Yeah. Um, in I, stores, he just got it. Just Outside, felt, eh, it's fine. You're in the air. I mean, when you're in crowded areas, like on a train or in a store, yeah, yeah, you got a mask oh, up. Oh, yeah. And you just look around, and I was like, wow, like, I'm the asshole right now. <laughs> I need to fix this. People are looking at you going, mm, give yeah, me the side eye. Yeah, I just felt mm. it, you know? Yeah. So, but that's, that's the... That's, that's the, really awesome. So, yeah, I appreciate that a lot. It's also cool just to see people's faces, you know? It is. They put their names to a face. I mean, if they, if they feel like it, there is the shirt. You can see there. Um, and yeah, you can get stickers, hoodies. hoodies, what else? Let's, let's look at the mask. So you can get the mask too. It's a slow sight. There we go. Yeah. So you can get the rage reset on a mask and confuse everyone that's around you. It's like, what is, what is, yeah, rage what happened reset? to this guy? <laughs> and, uh, and we've got three different, uh, three different shirts now, now that we have this one. It's the one, we've got the Rage Reset, we've got the one with the cats on the ZPH, and then you've got it out in full, it's a zero page homebrew, but the site is like so painfully slow. Come on! Internet! I guess we're streaming too. Uh, does that, I nah, mean... Uh, no, this is downloading, sense. streaming's uploading, so wow, there's so the three designs, and you can put them on multiple things, and we've got mugs as well. Anyway, enough hawking wears <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's enough really snake oil not why you're friends. here friends that's right <laughs> nobody's here for that um so last episode we uh did a three hour interview oh, with daryl spice jr one of the other heavy hitters um d the d and daryl spice jr is part of the cdfj that's the the big new uh format for making games with the arm uh, processor and today we have cd-w chris walton who's the c in cdfj Damn. so we're covering all the different uh, letters of the, the alphabet there yeah and it was a fun stream and we went over his whole catalog of games from the very very beginning actually back to the 80s wow. when he was making games for uh commodore 128 and all the way up to brand new where we revealed the new build of uh the game that we're going to be playing today frantic. frantic and today we even have a newer build of frantic that hasn't been released yet oh that's incredible with the voices in the game because last time the voices weren't in the game so it's very very exciting uh, and there's been a bus stuffing update since the last stream a couple of bus stuffing oh Ooh. no uh one bus stuffing update there may be hope yet for john shampoo's elevator action and chris walton's boom oh shit um that's a nice noise uh, yeah, Carl, yeah. Carl G, um, asked, what's that yeah, noise? That's some, what he asked. <laughs> we have a cement truck as our, like, backup orchestra right now. Uh, yeah. It's, it's like wonderful. in the Oscars when you fucking try to do your speech and they're, like, <laughs> <laughs> making noises, playing you off. Yeah. yeah, we're being played off by a cement truck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he asked, the issues with bus demos came up on the Zero Page Homebrew interview with Spiceware. I mentioned that I have one problematic junior that uh, has issues with bus demos, and I would be willing to lend out my system if it helps with the diagnostic diagnostics. Um, I was told that Batari was looking into bus issues and might be interested in taking me up on this. Anyway, I wanted to point that out there, and Batari answered. And he said, yes, uh, many bus issues have been may have been resolved. What I really need right now is a new driver and get that out there for testing to see how effective it will be in practice. It will take some effort because the driver may require a short burn-in period on problematic consoles while the driver determines the best way to deal with them. Basically, it tries to figure out which bits will stuff and which won't. It can deal with up to two bits that will fail by using 6507 store instructions instead of those bits. Uh, the burn-in period will probably consist of, of an encapsulated graphic image on the title screen made up of sprites, missiles, and or the ball, and enclosing 
enclosed by the play field where the console tests how the console responds to various stuffing attempts and checks the integrity of the image by checking collisions. Most consoles will work immediately, though some will take a few seconds to find a good solution. Or if your console fails completely, then it, that will be apparent too. Now this is really cool how it tests itself because the Atari 2600 has hardware built in to check for collisions and it can do pixel perfect collisions unlike later consoles yeah. that do bounding box collisions and you have to oh I, you know on some games like way back in the day even now where you're like I did, he didn't hit me he came close oh, yeah. to me but he didn't hit me and that's bounding box it's a lot of 3d games that are pretty rough and you have to yeah. learn just like what the actual especially shooters there's some shooters where right. trying to figure out like where to actually like what a headshot actually is mm -hmm. you can almost like miss them and technically hit them like there's some been some suspicious shooters over yeah. the years but the atari 2600 does pixel perfect collisions and how he's going to test is that by doing the bus stuffing he's able to either put something on the screen and it works or not put something on the screen and it doesn't work and he's able to check all the different methods of bus stuffing by going oh it came on the screen therefore it works therefore there's a collision because it did pixel perfect collision detection and it's going to go check 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 you pass your system's good to go so that's how he's going to go forward with testing the bus stuffing and he says two of them can fail and still work wow so that's not that very very safe, promising this is really really good news because when we we're talking with daryl spice jr on the last show he was saying oh cdfj is really good but bus stuffing is like next level and and it'll make uh games possible that are just out of control like he showed a full screen tons of color bus stuffing R rpg demo and it was like just miles beyond anything else. And elevator action being made by John John Champo, and also uh, Boom, which is Bomberman on the twenty six hundred, and that was made by the, the person we're highlighting today, Chris Walton. Yeah. So it's op gonna open up a whole floodgate of new possibilities. Homebrew three point oh, two point oh. Oh yeah, it's four point oh. Who knows? So. Uh, Daryl Spice Jr. said it's, final it's, step. it takes five uh, five instructions to do something in CDFJ. It only takes three instructions to do it in bus stuffing. So that's almost 50%, like double, double yeah. the speed. It's crazy. It's crazy, crazy. Anyway, I had to I had to say that. Because oh, that's so exciting. It's so, so exciting. Um, there's actually now um, two updates on the front of Atari 7800 um uh, sd card cartridges coming up now because for the longest time it's been very rare for somebody to have a 7800 cart cartridge to be able to just plug in games and plug it in go yeah. and and play the games but there's two now being actively developed and they're getting very close both of them are very very close the first one is uh, by batari again <laughs> um finally i'm getting back to sorting out the issues with the concerto and working towards a re-release I built two concertos the other day and I'm putting together about 20 total for now. More will be assembled down the road if the problems can be fixed. I think many can be. There will be enough for everyone eventually, assuming the most egregious issues can be solved. But for now, priority for the remaining 20 is for game developers first. As there are several who are making 7800 games but have no way to test the hardware. So I'd like all the game developers who want to buy a concerto to get one. So definitely get in touch with Batari if you are a 7800 developer because he's got cartridges for you uh the price for the concerto is 99 dollars. you do have to pay for it they're not free um <laughs> i would knock off the 10 dollars if you just want a bare board not in a cart shell there isn't a label for the concerto yet i will of course have a label eventually um and he said one of these issues are worked out the concerto will be ready for le release i will also be working on the lower cost constant Concertino, oh, these Italian words. Concertino. Uh, which may be see a near parallel release. Concerto is sealing daily development now, so it shouldn't be long. Um, also, Batari is working on a Pokey replacement chip. And what the Pokey chip is, is the sound chip that goes into 7800 games. 
Um, what uh, Atari back in the day did, not you, um, <laughs> <laughs> is they put the sound chip in the cartridges rather than the system, which was kind of a big mistake, but it saved them money. And there were two games released with the extra chip in it. One was Ball Blazer. The other one was... The chat can help Someone me out. For sure. Um, it was a, a shooting game. can't remember. It was based on... Commando. Beat you to it. Um, <laughs> and now the Pokey chip is used extensively in homebrew to get really good sounds. Like, it's really, really good sounds. And he says... Um, uh, Jinx asked him, Hey, Batari, are you still making a Hokey chip? That's his name for him. I plan to, especially in the light that the fact that the replacements are out there are so expensive because there is a Pokey One chip and it's like quite expensive though. It's like $30, $40 or something. Uh, Wait, is that an add-on that you do? Yeah, it's an add-on to new cartridges because it's not in the system and can't be added to the system as far as I know um, without a lot of effort. So you have to, if you want the good sound, you have to put a chip in every cartridge which adds whatever, $10, $20, $30 uh, to the, to the uh, cartridge, which bumps it up quite a bit. Absolutely. So if he can make a cheaper one, then more people will adopt pokey sound rather than the same sound as the 2600 in a 7800, which is quite old. Yeah. Uh, I found my hokey stuff the other day. It's not on the front burner right now, but we'll push up once concerto is ready to go, which sounds like it's going to be soon. Okay. The other 7800 SD card in the works. Um, RJ, RJ1307 posts in the Atari Age forums on Saturday that he's created, he has created a 7800 SD based cartridge. It'll be the type where there's a screen on the cartridge and you select the game on the cartridge, not the menu style that we're used to here. So there's a little, uh, LED readout screen and you go scroll, scroll, scroll. Yes, that's a game I want to play. You plug the cartridge in and that's the game you play. So it's a little bit different, but, uh, there's lots of SD cards that work that kind of that way. Um, uh, as of today, it supports 4K, 8K, 16K, 32, 48K files without banking, 64, 128, 256, and 512 with banking, an additional 16K RAM uh, at uh, 4,000, and Pokey for 4,000 and 0,450. So it also supports Pokey chip on it. So that means you just put one Pokey and you can play all the games with the extra sound. So that's kind of a bonus having this uh, extra cart, just like the yeah. Harmony Encore. Uh, he doesn't have a, re a retail price yet, as it's still in prototype phase, but it's fully functional right now. And he's got pictures of the games in action. Check it out in the Atari Age forums. Just uh, search for RJ1307 uh, Dragonfly. Looks like he's going to be calling it. Um, okay. And that's all the news. I'll torture you with, and yeah, it's time no, for man. the game. And Captain Classic just said custom chips are always oh, expensive. Yeah. And he used to work at a company, and it really economically, after you order about 0.5 million chips. That's not going to happen. And this, uh, this little arena we work within, half a million, is not going to do it. Yeah, It's probably going to be in the hundreds, hundreds maybe, maybe thousands if, if you're lucky. If he's willing to, willing to outlay, he might, might go into thousands because if it's going to be included in games those games go in the hundreds every time yeah so he could easily print a thousand of those up and try and get it down a moment of silence for the atari box thread it's been locked no what's the atari box it's related to the new atari vcs console that's putting being put out by atari yes that Anyway, I don't want to get into the politics of it. But anyways, it was a huge thread on Atari H. Like just, I think thousands of pages of people just shit posting, <laughs> basically, <laughs> uh, just putting a ah, bunch of the internet. Of uh, that's really weird that it was locked because it was one big garbage post. It was just garbage on there. Something must have been really going down it got there. racial near the end yeah no, I'm, I have no like, idea. <laughs> the moderators got tired of it. talking about the superior white race and then yeah. it <laughs> turned into oh my god now i have no idea that's that's, that's interesting yeah it's crazy Thirty thousand posts there you go thrust so wow. yeah imagine being a moderator for that and trying to decide well is this really bad post or is it 
a really, really bad yeah, posting. Yeah, reading 30,000 posts and going through them. Like, the wow. There was a Miko pa- bashing in that thread? Oh, my God. I knew this was a Pandora's box. Anyway. I was so excited. Open the Atari yeah. box, man. I just knew. <laughs> yeah, so let's not get into that part. You guys kind of discuss it there. But I tried to follow it. Oh, you can't follow it. The only thread I muted. Yeah, I've done a few group chats that way, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've heard people muting threads. In you the reach a point where it's you're like, like, I don't want to deal with this anymore. Yeah, I don't well, want to see it pop up. Yeah, yeah, well, it's just tough if your phone or your computer is always dinging and you're like, oh, oh. God, another post, another post. Yeah. Okay, now it is time for the secret new homebrew. <sighs> Ooh. Exclusive, world premiere. This is from Chris Walton, CD-W, and Nathan Strum on graphics. Um, this build is from August 16th, a couple days ago. He passed it me on Sunday, so I've had to restrain myself from running it even looking at the instructions because i've got instructions i haven't opened those up because it gives away what the game is he um he contacted me on august 11 said hey james i've been working on a new cdfj game and now have a playable demo all i will say at the moment is it a it's a port of a golden age atari uh a golden age arcade game um and nathan strom has produced the artwork I've included Nathan in this message so he can confirm that you will enjoy it. <laughs> and Nathan confirmed that I will enjoy it. Let me know if you'd be interested in featuring in our Z- zero, uh, zero page homebrew channel. And I said, no, no, I don't. You're like, fun. no, man. Of course I said, yes. I'm not interested in <laughs> new <laughs> content homebrew. or I'm gonna, exclusive I'm gonna go play, premieres. I'm going to go play E.T. or, or Pac Man. It's time to hit Pong another, That's right. another round of maybe some Pac Man 2600. We'll <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. Um, and there were tons and tons of guesses because I posted it, say, hey, we're going to be doing this game, posted in the forum, posted it on I think Nathan Facebook. said he's got a good idea of what it might be. He, he's probably pretty sure. He's got he his knows. ear to the door, you know? Yeah, doing the artwork. He, he did it blindfolded, yeah. Because um, tacos are, I don't know I if you've tacos. heard, man, tacos are... The, the new thing? Yeah, I'm certainly into ground beef. I don't think <laughs> you'd want that because no. of the... <laughs> um, uh, my wish list... I, don't, I doubt it's either of these. Uh, Timber, which nobody talks about, and I love that game. Um, uh, or Satan's Hollow, but somebody else has already kind of started Satan's Hollow. Yeah. So, But pe- games change hands, you know? You somebody else know. could pick up the slack. But uh, I'm not going to go through... Well, actually, I could go through all the guesses. Time Pilot, iRobot, Donkey Kong 3, Metal Gear Solid, D-Make, Waco, Mystic Midway, Terra Cresta, Major Havoc, Inferno, Tempest, Elevator Action... Rally X, Arabian, Tutankham, Phoenix, Guzzler, Defender, Make Tracks, Astro Invader, Moon Cresta, Red Alert, Mr. Doo's Castle, Mr. Doo, Pu Yan, Donkey Kong Jr., Pengo, Star Raiders, Sinistar, and Zaxxon. Those are all the guesses that everybody wow. had all over the Facebook. And I'm going to make a bet that one of those is it. <laughs> you think so? Uh, we'll, we'll see. see. We'll see. That I, I think one of those has to be right. That or Quake 3 Arena. It could be that. Yes. A, a, a top-down Quake 3 arena. Yeah. And it's not out of the ordinary. We had a top-down... Uh, what, Halo D-Make? No, there was a Halo D-Make. There was another one, though. But anyway, was Unreal Tournament was in there That's what well. it was, Unreal Tournament. And that translated really well. Yeah, because of the rotating weapons. Yeah. I played a shit ton of Unreal. So, um, he said, have a two-button controller Ooh. ready. So that's another hint that nobody else knew. So there's at least two buttons in the game. But who, that doesn't... The that doesn't winner get a huge is... hint. So let me get this, make sure that we have it set up uh, so that... Let's go to the blue screen so everybody can see exactly what's going on. Let's turn this on. Atari Fox Plus. Atari. Oh, Ready. God, it's <laughs> 2.0. Drum roll, Atari please. Atari Fox Plus. Okay. Here it is. And he labeled it cdwgame.bin so we don't know what it is. Is everyone ready? We're all... Okay, let's find out. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Xevious! Dude, was that Very, one of them? I don't think I don't think was. that was one of them, man. I think that's... Oh my god, you all fail. <laughs> Xevious. Spelled with a Z. Well, it's, no, it's uh, the world... It's the year 2020. You all get prizes for guessing. And there are no winners and losers. Nobody <laughs> got it. That's right. 
Fire to play. Two Ooh. button. Intermediate. Well, well. Millennials play sports. We don't count. <laughs> who wins, right. who loses. That's We're right. all, you're all included. Everybody gets a blue ribbon, a gold star. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, so this is a shooter, which I love shooters. This is, this is like OG top-down shooter. Oh, shit. CBS is like the early, early, early shooter. So I am going to get that. Question, are there robots? Flying robots? I hope so. Yeah. Because yeah. everything is Flying better space with robots. robots. <laughs> They're not in space. It's like over land. Um, but let's print out the instructions. So, and everybody Ooh. can marvel at the, de uh, the screen there. Oh, and we're marveling. We are marveling. Um, now that we know, I can print the instructions. Let's see, intermediate. I think we should go advanced. I don't know if that's uh, an option, but I think we should just go right go, into advanced. Go right in advanced? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, hmm. And die immediately? Um, no, no. Okay, I'm going to print out both sides. Zevious. Zevious. And he has changed the spelling to avoid any confusion with other games that sound like Zevious, you know? We yeah, don't want to get confused. Because we will be rescuing a princess. <laughs> That's right. uh, no, no specific Fix. princess. And there will be an alien that has come down from Earth named DT. <laughs> That's right. Okay, let's get out the instructions. Oh shit! I mean, Xevious is fairly straightforward. Shoot the things. I think there's power ups. I haven't played a ton of Xevious. I'm gonna vote for shooting the things. If I have a choice to shoot something, I'm shooting shoot it. Shoot or not shoot the things. <laughs> and avoid everything else. Avoid the bullets, shoot the things. things. Unless we're interested to see how he does the land with the play field. Unless we're doing a pacifist run. Oh. In our millennium, there are no winners. That might be difficult. But there's also no losers. Advanced is more fun, but a lot harder. Expert is brutal. Oh, my God. Oh, we're playing expert. That's the original a... <laughs> was named like that, but they used an X to make it sound more interesting. Oh, so this is the original spelling. Um... Okay, so I will Ooh. give you the on of oh, playing the first game. Yeah. Okay, I I'll do intermediate. Out. I'll just fucking around. I can't handle anything that's harder than that. Um, what do we got? Do we have? It's probably fire button and bomb. Which one I do you believe? think, A or B? What well, we B is the primary, I think, on this. And, and then, then A is secondary, C? or C is secondary? We'll C. find out. Okay, get ready. Oh, oh, I'm ready. Holy shit. Whoa, okay, I already bombed stuff. There you Whoa, go. holy crap. Nice. Okay. Oh, wow. Dude, this oh, feels wow. like an arcade, got, man. This is way better than I thought it would be. I think I already, the land. Dude, I already wasted oh my, my bomb. That's what you bomb. Oh, shit. No, but you get bombs forever, Okay. I believe. Because okay. you have to bomb a lot of stuff. So you bomb those. Bam. There you go. Boom. What happens if they go by me? Uh, They're fine. They're fine. As long as they don't run into you or shoot oh, you. Oh, shit. Nothing shooting oh, yet. Oh, shit. I feel like there's going to be a boss at some point. Oh, Whoa. there's a shot. Nice. Oh, oh no. Now they're oh, my shooting. oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, my Whoa. my skills have definitely decreased. Nice. Nice. Oh. 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 Okay, I got scared. Oh, I got the music. Perfect. The sounds are going on. Let me turn up the music. This has got to be a classic game people know. Oh, yeah. Everybody in the chat knows this game. Everybody. Oh. Wow, this is... Perfect. This Whoa. is really good. Whoa, do I get points for... Oh, my God. You get points for bombing. I, friends, I don't think I'm ready for expert. <laughs> I don't think I'm I ready for expert. I don't think expert. I'm ready for advanced. I don't even know I'm ready for intermediate. Mr. Fix says, this looks awesome. Nice music as well. Metal Atari 19... 69 says, very nice. I missed if this is an art game. Arm oh. game, yes. It's a CDFJ <laughs> game. Okay, this game is stressing me out. Okay, I'm going to read a bit about... Okay. Um, uh, Chris here. I've been homebrewing Atari 2600 games since 2005 and we released five titles through Atari Age, Mini Multicart, Hunchy 2, Juno First, Cheddary, pronounced wrong, and Star Castle Arcade. I also wrote the firmware for the Harmony Cart and co-authored CDFJ Bank Switching. Heavy hitter. Damn. I took a break from homebrewing in 2012 when my daughter was born. Ah, so he had a very big gap from his last game. And I've since moved from the UK to USA, Seattle. So he lives very hey, close man. to us. Hey, neighbor. The crows. The cr oh my God, those are perfect. What? What do, you, what, do I not? I just have no, to just dodge them. them. Okay. Okay. Them. Those are incredible. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is Holy unbelievable. Shit. Okay. 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 This this challenge just got. Oh my oh. God. Okay. This is close to the 7800 version. Dan ABC's yes says yes, it is. Holy um, shit. 
The COVID lockdown has given me time to write two brand new 2600 titles, and this is the first one. Ooh, With great another tragedy, one coming. beauty arises. That's right. We have another homebrew coming. Holy I can smell it. Yes, I can, I can feel it. Arcade game. The original uh -huh. arcade weight game was released in 1982 by Namco and was distributed by Atari in 1983. The game was massively popular in Japan, but commercially unsuccessful in North America. That's probably why Japan has so many shooters as opposed yeah. to North America. They have so many shooters. So just a different world in Japan. Oh, yeah. Right. Into oh it. my God. Uh, but uh, it was one of the first vertically scrolling shoot 'em ups, okay. and was frequently credited with launching the genre. Whoa. As I said. What year did it release? In? Uh, Eighty-two. Nineteen eighty-two. Uh, oh, eighty-three. Game was uh, 82, 83. Um, note that the Rivet Raid for 2600 was released by Activision in the same year. Oh, so Activision was right on it with the vertically scrolling shooters. This is more closer to what we know as a shmup, though. River Raid was very contained and you had to go in paths. This is more the free form. Um, things are shooting at you. Yeah, they didn't shoot in River Raid at you. So this is way closer. It's way closer. Um, Note that River, blah, blah, blah. The backstory is that aliens dude, have invaded the Earth. Okay. And your job is to get rid of them. So you were right on the aliens. Oh, my God. The landscape is unbelievable. I have... Wow. I don't think I've ever seen a dude, game there with, is like with scrolling. There is, like, so many of these. Oh, my God. Whoa. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. With this detailed of scrolling I'm landscape. I'm really, really scared. I'm really scared. Is it boss time? I don't know. Don't there was, know, like, there a, a whole boss. series a of them. I'm doing better than I did the first time. Definitely. Which is a nice thing, um, but it's still stressful, man. Uh, as in as in Juno first, the task is futile as the game loops forever. Just, to, the objective is score as many points as possible. I mean, Double we kill. all lose in life, man. We all die, so it's like it just keeps going. The scenery is unbelievably de detailed. Yes, it is. Oh, total nerdgasm, Mr. Fix says. Lol. Mr. Fix. Uh... The gameplay, the, the game has several novel features. The action is set on two levels, the air and the ground. Oh, I realized you can blow up two with one uh, fucking bomb if you want. People are asking about that. Double kill? Possible in the arcade or possible bug? Like, check it out. Oh, Feature. I missed. Uh, Damn it. I wanted to show off my uh, double bomb techniques. <laughs> and you went too far. You pushed it too far. Too close to the sun. That's right. The game is played on a single large map where each level is a different vertical strip of the map. Yeah, uh, the vertical strips overlap so you can see parts of the map repeat in later levels. Oh, this is just like, just hawking stuff at me, man. Holy cow. The action is Holy continuous shit. with small section of trees between levels. Okay. 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 Uh, if your ship is destroyed near the end of a level, you restart at the beginning of the very next level. That river is so good. It almost looks like it has 3D texture to it because of the way it's drawn. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, I don't think the, is the ship's supposed to be yellow. I don't know. Uh, CD-W is the color bug at the lives counter from James's console. Oh, definitely, it is. Um, it's, we, I think we've Holy determined, okay. uh, Nathan determined when he was fixing it that uh, there is some color timing issues with the RGB mod that there is there's a little bit of bleed at some times with colors so that is definitely well i can you can con we'll confirm it later on um the emulator on stella but dude I'm i got a life certain you got an extra life yeah. oh and then and there it goes. failed on immediately but i'm doing better i've got like 2100 21, points right see now if it says when you better get an extra than life. i was like 14 points oh, i think it's insane. you see how this like yellow 20, thing builds 000. i think that might be how it indicates it you see what i mean it's kind of got like that Two? Oh, on the, is, no, that's an error, I think. Is it? Oh, yeah. I was hoping I think it's by it. score. Oh, there's your double shot. Yeah. Uh, it's possible to play double the game kill. without firing a single shot. Pacifist run. By dodging everything. So there you go. Oh there is God. a pacifist run. You'll get zero points, though. But you but can go for time. It's like as I had an, it's a continuous scroll. I had just like an old teacher that was like, if you can get zero on a test, we're going to give you a hundred. <laughs> what? Because he said, you have to get zero. You, you need to, all, you need to know what's, because statistically, that's if you're just true. guessing randomly, he's like, he said, but it's quite that's, the feat to go for it. He said, almost no one's ever pulled it off. <laughs> and so, and you'd have to be brave enough to risk. Cause if you get one, right, you get that one. That's right. right that, that's I, I call that a pacifist run for, 
fucking English class. Wow. Yeah, that's... And it, it was only for multiple choice. It wasn't... You can't just write, like, a terrible essay. Oh. Extra lives are earned by points and picked up by discovered hidden flags. Jesus. Oh, so there are hidden things. So it's probably from bombing. So if you see a flag, you gotta pick that up. Look at that. It even has glowing embers when you destroy oh. things on the ground. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, and as a little shadow as so you 25, die. So 25,000. That's your best so far? Yeah. Oh, you still got one I'm more still life. going. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. So, so you can bomb things. That yeah, are... when they're moving, it's a little bit tricky. Oh, those are in the river. I think oh I. God, killed. they're they're like going through the river. That's amazing. That's how why you have to bomb that guy. That's why. Oh, oh, uh. Jesus, it gets t intense, man. Wow. This is like this is a stressful situation. What oh, is going on? Oh, oh my God. Oh, Hidden. Uh, uh, okay. Hidden. That's a, that's the level you die on. That okay. is the level. So twenty eight thousand. That's the one to beat. See if, see if you can beat Scan, that. Where are we at here? Scan lines are wreaking havoc on the compression. Sorry about that. That's okay. Where are we at here? Um, this thing I can maybe read I somewhere. can try and fix it a little bit for you, and change the uh, compression of it. Let's see the transform. Oh no, order. Yeah, thanks for letting us know, Nathan. Yeah. Well, it's not giving me oh, when you said I have a lot of artifacts in the stream, anyone else? When I glanced on it and read artifacts, and I thought artifacts in uh, terms of, like, you know, the Ark of the Covenant, and then I'm realizing it's not the cool kind of artifacts. <laughs> no. It is. Uh, the... Scale filtering was disabled, so this might actually help it a bit. Oh, friends, hopefully it I've will. I've changed it to Lanscos. Lanscos. Lanscos? There you go. So that might help a little bit. We'll okay, cool. Where am I at for this? Game? Um, You're at Atari 2600 Prototype. Okay. Atari originally planned to release this game for the 2600 and assigned Todd Fry to the port. Oh. But canceled the project in 1984 because George Orwell, no. Several <laughs> prototypes have been found, including a near-complete version. Oh, uh, wow. The prototype includes most of the enemies from the arcade game and isn't bad considering it uses only 18K with no extra RAM. Oh. So I'm assuming this, this uses some RAM. Uh, yeah, I would have extra RAM. He's probably going to talk about that I'm later. Gonna I bet. think it's a 32K game. 32K? CDFJ that sounds game. about right. Yeah. So, Atari 7800 version. Say, my Atari 2600 version is a direct port from the Atari 7800 source code. Oh. And uh, the 7800 source code was rescued from a dumpster by the Atari <laughs> HQ in 1996. Oh, my God. And is available on the Atari Museum website. Rescued from a dumpster. Good oh rescue. Oh my god, thank you. Whoever was rescued from diving? a fucking dumpster. The source code contains interesting clues on how the game was made. Example, the programmers the used code. a videotape of the arcade game and it was written by multiple programmers with different coding styles. I also found and mixed many uh, and found and fixed many small bugs. That's, yeah. that's really interesting. Oh, yeah. Well, when you've got the source code, that does help a lot. So now we got ourselves Atari 2600 Homebrew. I started the port by hand translating the 1700 source code, 6502 assembly, into C code, and then optimized and improved it. Translating the code took around three months. Wow. It would probably have been quicker to write the game from scratch, but I wanted to do something different. And the main differences from the 1700 versions are, one, the scrolling background uses the play field instead of tiles. Right. The sprites are based on the arcade version. And Better, that's a good idea. <laughs> the ground enemies are animated, example buildings open up to fire, and the level layouts are modified to reduce flicker. Oh, God. And then we got ourselves some artwork. The game looks much better than I expected, thanks to Nathan Strum. Dude, always thanks to Nathan Strum. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's the master of graphics. Like, I... just look at it. It's unbelievable. Oh, my God. And then I originally asked if he could convert the sprites from the 7800 version, but Nathan converted the original <laughs> arcade <laughs> sprites like, no, instead. No, I will not. <laughs> As a result, the sprites are more detailed and contain um, many more animation frames. That's why you gotta listen to experts, man. That's right. Leave it to the experts. I initially converted the 7800 uh, map tiles directly into playfield graphics, but the aspect ratio was wrong. Nathan mm. redrew the playfield map from scratch to better match the arcade version. He also nice. came up with the cool title logo. 
Ah, Nathan, nice. holding up the fort. So now we have some technical challenges, James. Ah, well, yeah, with the seven, with the twenty six hundred, <laughs> there's gonna be technical challenges. The main challenge was sprite flicker, which is very oh, yeah. visible against a non-black background. Ah. It, still a lot of flicker, but hopefully it doesn't distract too much. Other technical challenges. One, I developed a novel way to draw four color play field using color blending. I did much worse than you. Awesome. <laughs> Good. But it was my first game. Yeah. I did quite bad. I think I did 1400 on my first one. Oh, okay. So, and then and then 2800 for the for the last one. 28,000, sorry. It's able to you're able to move really easily. Like it's quite quite slippery. Yeah, um which is which is good I think and the, bad. I think you get more points for bombing than shooting. So uh, I really I really I really bombing. dialed in on the bombing when I was playing. Like I just really And I also found that like especially when they start shooting at you, you survive a lot better when you can deal with the bombs uh, proactively. Okay. But not that I think you, once again you just don't get hit and yeah, just don't, kill as many things as possible. Don't get hit. It's not. It's, <laughs> it's <laughs> we. The tactics are. See, there's a hidden thing. Pretty uniform. Hey. But there's no flag. So Maybe you needed to shoot it twice. I, I did last time and it, it didn't. Um, what? It didn't give me a flag. But it is a hidden thing, so that's pretty cool. So the uncompressed map is about 128, uh, 120k. Wow, Thomas uh, came up with a way to compress it down to 5k. <laughs> what? Thomas. <laughs> oh my god. You put it in an industrial compression. One of those industrial compressors. That, 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 you ever seen that channel? The YouTube channel? No. Where he puts things in a... Oh, those like, those, yeah, those hydraulic presses. Hydraulic presses, press, yeah. Well, they just that's what, they that's squish what he did. tennis balls. and. Yeah, so man. who did that? I'm Thomas, Thomas. Thomas. Thomas is the master of that. Whenever you hear about uh, data compression, it's uh, Thomas is always involved. And um, the sprite flickering is based on code from both Daryl and John. The black um, H move, H M O V E bar on the left makes it possible for sprites to travel beyond the edges of the screen. Oh, not me. Um, oh, uh, yeah, there they go. They're you can off. use Sega Genesis controller for two buttons. Yeah. Which is definitely the way to play. Because then you can do the bombs. I don't know how you do it without the two buttons. Yeah, it's tricky. Hold it down or. I don't know. See if you can get a double. You gotta land it right oh in between the two. Yeah, I, I have gotten doubles, but they're like not very well. The at game all. uses CDFJ bank switching and would not be possible without some assistance from the arm chip. Oh, there's auto fire. Oh my god. That helps. But but you also gotta bomb things. I feel like you gotta I be. I could just real... roll to the bomb. You oh, be... They both have auto fire. Oh my god, forget it. I'm holding them both down. <laughs> yeah. You gotta be real strategic, though. Oh my god. Okay. Let's do this again. Yeah. What do we got? Okay, the arm is just powerful enough to run the translated 7800 code. So I'm going to uh, controversially claim that the CDFJ upgrades the 2600 to the power of the 7800. <laughs> Ooh, that is quite a claim. Robotron and Galagon are also <laughs> similar to their 7800 counterpoints. Ah. Uh -huh. True. What it is is that's Robocop right there, man. You get gunned down by your enemies and you get rebooted as a <laughs> robot. That's right. Which is, if you ask me, that's what the uh, CDFJ happens. Except, you know, except there's always going to be a secret uh, <laughs> code inside you, <laughs> which will reveal, you know, in you know, in the breakout from the second to third act. That's that's what will happen. The game is approximately eighty percent completed. Mm. It is using the full 32K already. 32K, okay. Um, uh, so it may be necessary to go to the 64K unless Thomas oh. can make more miracles. <laughs> the missing features are... And sorry, this is this section is missing features. Right, the to-do um, list. Yeah, so number one is Andor Genesis Motherships. Nathan has uh, produced okay. some amazing sprites. So I'm assuming that's a boss. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, cool. High score table. Mm. Tarivox support. Oh, yeah. Uh, attract mode. Yeah. And then two player support. I got it. He goes. I, I bombed it twice, but it just goes dashes. It wasn't an extra life or anything. Okay, sorry. And he goes and then he said, uh, I will post the demo version on Atari Age soon so that everyone can play test it. Nice. Yeah, see this is the area that scares the shit out of That's, me, man. There's a lot of bullets going on there. That guy is real scary. Yeah, but it put me through to the next level. Dude, this cat is just He's melted. He's fine. He's done. What a life he's got. Oh, yeah. Can't go outside, but he's got everything else in the world he's ever wanted. 
Yeah, these oh things are God. just get thrown at you are scary. Yeah, you're right about the bombing. Like, if you don't bomb them, they're just gonna be. Well, yeah, I've just noticed that, and that's where I've noticed how I did well was I just didn't. I made sure I just bombed everything. I didn't even like actually shoot some of these guys. I just dodged really? them. You're just it, going for the bomb. Because I think if you look, each bomb is worth like a hundred points, I think, oh, and then okay. those are worth very minimal. And especially at the higher levels, yeah, you get a hundred per bomb. And I also noticed that the I was more often killed by the bullets from these yeah. guys. So I just was like bomb bomb. Just a barrage of them. Versus That's... those guys give you like 30 points, uh... right? And so if you think about like this screen, if you miss a bomb, like like this screen, you just have 200 points right there. Yeah, this is, screen's got 400 points. Um, yeah, I'm mostly yeah. getting hit by the, the bullets from the ground every time. And you, yeah, so I would just, I would just zone in on bombing. <laughs> I think we all know a secret. The secret is the VCS is the best current game system. That's right. Need a need a 2600 flicker phosphor compression mode that sends two P frames odd even than the differences from the previous alternating P frames. Yep. Auto fire auto bomb. Hint: You'll live longer if you don't attempt to shoot and bomb everything. Uh, okay. Uh, so how do we? Oh, we have to go up here. Advanced expert novice. I want to go novice so we can see more stuff. Sure, sounds good. And then we will do some experts. See how okay, goes. now I'm gonna stop trying to bomb them. I'm gonna dodge bullets because that's the secret to um, shmups. It's just is, dodge shit. Is if you hit something, great, but don't get hit by the bullets. If you get hit by the bullets, you lose a life, and that's the worst thing possible. So, watch the bullets, and then your periphery, watch to shoot things, but concentrate on the bullets. Of course, you're safe at the beginning, so. Yeah, because they're not shooting any bullets. But I keep, I always forget that when I'm playing games like this. I'm like, no, watch the bullets. Don't watch the enemies. Great sounds. Yeah, man. Like, well, great environment and background. It's pretty oh my incredible. god, this is probably one of the most busy. This is, this is the scary map for me. Yeah, this I'm one just right going to stay out of the way of that guy for now. There we go. There's too many uh, sections of that guy shooting at you. Oh, oh. Already better by just watching bullets. It's also a novice, too. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> not, to, not to say that. I don't know what the difference is, but you, you can't say you're doing better on no, novice <laughs> from, from intermediate, because I, I don't it's know. It's going to be less enemies, less shooting. I have, no, I have no idea, but... It you... feels about the same. It feels very similar. But I'm sure there's, like, slight differences. Like less, less guy shooting at you, for sure. There's a check. Oh, let's see. Oh, they're just giving us some suggestions. Dodging will keep you alive, although it doesn't work well on Expert, which makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Too many bullets. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, the scrolling playfield is unbelievable. Like, this is the most detailed um, scrolling, vertical scrolling playfield in any game I've ever seen. So the only thing that's that's that I find tough about this game is it's hard to know sometimes which one is a thing to bomb and which one's a thing to shoot. Because you see with some of these that are moving, right. um, it looks like there's like almost ships on the river, though. But yes, those which are is the really, ones Which is pretty bomb. cool, but it was like, it took me a little bit to figure out like which ones they are look bombable and which ones are not. And that's probably part of the, the the game right it's like yeah. well you gotta figure it out you can bomb those things huh? no i don't think so One shot. oh double kill there's a hidden thing uh, there should be a benefit oh, to got doing an extra that life. no i did get an extra life yeah but i don't know if oh it's it... twenty thousand. that's what that's the thing yeah. man that's the tricky part yeah, I think these guys on are definitely shooting much less. Yeah. Um, because I certainly feel like when we were playing on intermediate, these um, it was more like the turrets were shooting. Like, because I think we'd be barraged with bullets, um, on intermediate now, versus you see they're kind of only firing every once in a while. Dude, is this like a mothership or something? No, I it don't. Looks like it. I think it's just a big level. That's cool. This. The, the fact that there's such detailed scrolling playfield, vertical scrolling playfield, 
um, opens the Atari 2600 up to a whole bunch of other games. Yeah, man. Oh, I went right into it. Um, because three lives in the arcade, it. like, like, um, Commando, you could do a better version of Commando. Uh, any of those, um, run and gun, vertical scrolling games, uh, you could do now. Just based on the look of this scrolling playfield. Hell yeah. It's like, oh, it is possible to do detailed vertical scrolling playfields. We're getting to see more of the game. <laughs> Hell yeah! See, oh, this is where oh, this I is died. Where it was a game this over is where I you. couldn't, I couldn't survive. Uh, dodge the bullets. That's what you got to do. And they are shootable. They don't you have to don't have to bomb them. But I think you can only shoot them when they're shadows. Also, yeah, it was just it was just rip at that oh, point, man. Look at it! Oh my god! Snaking the through is crazy. Design. And I know it's shimmering quite a bit for everybody watching, but here it's like it's totally fine. There's like minimal, minimal kind of flicker. Like you, you're not bothered by it at all. Like, do you notice the flicker too much? Like, no, from not the back, really. From the background. It, I mean, I can. It's certainly can there, it. yeah. but it's um, as he said though, it's much more um, noticeable um, on lighter backgrounds. Right. So right now, over the blue, I notice it a lot more than the green because I think the green is just a bit of a darker color. Yeah, you can um, see. Because you can a bit see here. like, and and he's right. Like over black, it's like cause you see like the dark green mm. on the right. Like it's undetectable. But then you look yeah. at like the light blue, then it's certainly more detectable. It's more pronounced. Which is interesting because yeah, now that we're over the green, I see nothing. Yeah, the green is. Like but then really the blue, good. but also the cool thing about that is that kind of shimmering like blue just feels like ocean. Yeah, so it kind of you know, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, that guy's kind of a boss. He shoots quite a few bullets. Yeah. Bam. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. It's a stressful game, though. That's the thing. <laughs> honestly, that's one of the things I struggle. I know you love like bullet like games, but yeah. the thing I find is I just feel like I'm so buzzed after I play them because I'm just oh, in yeah. a state of just constant alertness. Like, I think that's why I love um, RPGs because there's like there's downtime to kind of think about stuff. True. Whereas there's no thinking. It's all instinct. It's pure instinct. <laughs> Man alone in it nature. Is. Dodging fucking You're whatever's coming at you, bears are flying. Right. Like you yes. got to dodge the bullets, which is like that's a certain lane of gaming, which is a really cool lane. Um, but I always find that like I can't play them for as long. Um, they they get mentally exhausting. Really, yeah, after a bit. Um, and and then when I, and then at a certain point you sort of maybe figure out their pattern, and then yes. it becomes a sort of a different tactic. So this, they definitely have an evolution, but I just find like after I play like a like a game like this for a long time, I'm always like, damn. <laughs> yeah, this this is unbelievable. This is one of the most advanced shooters on the 2600 now. Oh my god! So patterns. this is the next level. You see, this is like this is the challenge rating just went way up. Oh, careful! You gotta. Flying bears. What are they saying? Uh, mm -hmm. I'd like to know how the uh, background is built up from the uh, BG color, PF color, etc. Oh, I'll be looking in, in Stella after this. This is, uh, this is a game can you look up? I don't know. She isn't super big on shooters. <laughs> She's. She might like it, but. Oh no, she isn't huge on shooters. She's she's RPGs, puzzles. Look at that thing. It's a little, it's a little decorative. Uh... Ah ah! Wow, I want to see more of that. Damn it. Last life. Got a cool little tune going on. Yep. I wonder if you get to six sixty thousand, you might get another life. Oh, I hope so. Almost there. Oh, these guys. Hard because you have to bomb all of every single one of them. Ah, yep. Yeah, one nice. more life. Over man. twenty so far. Oh well, that's a good. That's a good tactic to know. Yeah, it is. If you're just adds a layer. Oh, oh, new new dudes. Skull. I like, I like this skulls. area oh. a lot, though. Yeah, look at that. Look at the detail on that. Oh my god, there's too many things. What the hell? <gasps> look at that. Whoa! Dude, that's a phoenix right there. Those are the... the or a hummingbird or no, something. That's pretty cool. You've seen those before, like... Uh, they're 
can only be seen from the sky properly, yeah. but they were made thousands of years ago. Um, yeah, they're like crop circles, but sort yeah. of like their own deal. I mean, Stonehenge is like... So to to be that, have that much foresight before any flight, like air travel by humans, to make things that can be only seen from the air like that is, is crazy. Well, yeah, and it's it gets down to, like, primitive mythology, you know? Like, yeah. old, I mean, before Catholicism, I mean, the number one worship was the sun. And well, this idea of, reason. like, the moon, it's like, this is where all life seems to come from. And, like, when this disappears, terrible things happen, you know? Like, our, sure. our life <laughs> was related to that. So it's like, you people would want to worship the, the gods and sort of, like, go, hey, if, if the I want the gods to see my message. That's right. You know? And, and I have to make it big enough. That, for them to see it from, yeah. from the sky. And because that is the universal kind of thing in mythology is that the gods sky. were always above us, That's looking true. down. Yeah. Which makes sense. It, like, it does, in, in that kind of way. Well, yeah, and it's like, and then even like the pantheons of Greece of like you're living in Mount Olympus. Like it was always... Right. Always, always up. Always, always above. Up. And always, always at the those peak awesome. too. Look at this. You got a bunch of secret little ones. Those must be big points. Those, they have to be yeah. extra points of some we'll kind. I think you got out. like, yeah, eighty thousand. Damn. Nice. Getting to see all the the levels, which is great. Whoa! Out. No! 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 Oh what my the god! What fuck oh, is going on? Power up! Oh my god! Finally! Oh no! What? What was that? Was that like a what little? That? Uh, I think that was, was the that? alien abduction. Was what that was right there. What was that? They kind of helped me, but then they went away. But nothing hit them? They just kind of visited me for a second? These guys aren't too bad. You just gotta watch the bullets and shoot the shadows. Blast them shadows. This is incredible! Incredible! Yeah. And it's cool to see it. The limitation is that it is hard to find good um, combinations of colors. Oh, well, we did a great job. Great job. Yeah, especially you're going sort of earth tones. Yep, you know, greens, darker browns, blue. grays. Actually, no browns, really. Oh, See, this okay. is where it's it's interesting challenge because sometimes it's hard to know, like... Yeah, I was shooting them, so like, why aren't they dying? Oh, my God! Holy shit! Were those, like, heat-seeking? They seemed to go right for me. That was a nuclear bomb. Just, wow. Some Hiroshima action. So Holy cow. still encountering new enemies up at this level. Those those sound suspiciously like coins from Mario. <laughs> bleep, bleep. Nice. Ah, uh, can you get it? No. Careful, this guy's coming. Oh, they kind of, they're just all over the place. I don't think they're heat seeking, but they were all over. Oh Jesus my God. Christ. Those are not. What a, what Whoa, a. Whoa, there's like eight bullets coming out in all directions. Ah. Oh. And there's another phoenix. Whoa! It's definitely Savinci Contrast. Oh, that's definitely, where the light man. paths are light blue instead of yellow. No brown, that's why all the roads are dirt. Uh, Blue-gray. No, it's great. I have no problems with that, with the colors. Uh, so, back to you. We're going to go expert. Okay, let's find this out. Oh, my God. Intermediate, advanced, expert. Let's see how, what punishment awaits us here. So, did you get through all this? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Oh my god, those guys are coming in right away. Wow. Hold down for auto-fire. Definitely just do it. And then just roll over to the C button. I think you're better at this than I am. I don't know about that, man. <laughs> I think you are. I really don't know about that. I'm, wow, I'm, I'm totally some, different enemies. I'm somehow holding... Oh my god. We're seeing like totally different enemies in this. No, because the thing is, is that this is just like. You could do a usable risk map this way. <gasps> you could. Wow. Like, like the game risk? Yeah. Like board game? Like just looking at what you can see on the screen with the how they've used the play field to do maps and how detailed it gets in some points. Um, you could just not make it scroll oh, and make it a shit. static. Like, look, this is the problem, oh, is like... <laughs> it's basically dodging bullets at this point. 
<laughs> yeah, you can make a really detailed static map. <laughs> this is insanity. I'm not very good at these these kinds of games too. Oh my god. Was this a trackball game in the arcade? I don't. I don't this think is so. like, this is just so intense. Like I just feel like getting past like any screen is like a feat. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like I yeah. just feel like dead. Yeah, you gotta bomb things immediately. I'm sort of now. learning like the tactics in a way, like. Basically, oh my god! Like basically, wow. like basically, if I can, if I can get the double hit, mm -hmm. then you do it. Like that's the only way. That's what you aim for. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Like wow! Like wow! Good oh. one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the shadow getting, one's got you again. I'm just kidding, bro. I haven't made it past that area yet. Great for a golf game too. Oh my, oh god. my yes, it would be amazing. Okay. Look, just look at that. Pretend that's golf. Dude, this would be like a great one for that. What's that guy who does the top scores? The, the, the top score contests? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be yeah, really yeah. cool to see who could like get a high score on this. It would be. On Expert? Because like, this is like some serious like, like oh, yeah, some serious is... tactics. Like I got to 10 and like I feel like that is, <laughs> I feel good. I feel kind of proud of myself. <laughs> like I haven't even made it past this like the third screen yet. Yeah, well, your dodging skills is a it's been pretty good. I don't know about that, man. Like, you were, it's it's a weaving through bullets. But see, like that's the thing is that's like you gotta. This is cool because you gotta kind of learn it. Like here, I'm because you see if you land a yeah. double kill, that'll reduce the bullets man, way down. down. See how you can do. It's eleven thousand. That's the best I got. Sevius is the only game which made me stay in arcade for hours. Well, this is gonna be a popular game then, dude. Play some expert. That's the only way to do it. Yeah, train on expert. Wow. And then play on intermediate. See if you can get past like four turrets. <laughs> yeah, but no, I'd love to see. This would be a cool one to do for that high score one because oh, I really definitely. think you could tell the difference between the children and the men. Oh yeah, breaks out. <laughs> really separates uh, people out at that point. There. You know, you'll get to really see. Yeah, you see what I mean. There you you almost got gotta, You've got to hit the like the double right hit. the center. Yeah. Yeah, dude, if someone could get, like, even 20,000 on Expert, I'd be impressed, you know? <laughs> then talk about, like, 40, talk about 100,000. Like, it would be... Jesus, yeah. And I'd, I'd just love to see that, that, that feed. The gameplay, like, yeah. Like, that's some serious, like, skills to do this. This is not, like... You can't fuck around. Oh, no, there's no doubt. Like, look at this. The problem oh. is, is because you miss now, this the challenge garage. is so much worse. Well, because I don't even get a chance to hit the next yeah, one. Yeah, you need I, to be, so, be dodging. you got to be so proactive. Like, yeah. if you can just hit every one of them, and this is where I think repeated playing would really give you an advantage if you learned on Expert, the, like, the different levels. Yes, and understand what's coming up. Yeah, like, completely map memorization because like because and then if you could like bomb them you know and learning like which ones because yeah see if you were to like proactively hit these guys but yeah the thing here is that now it's just a, it's crazy just a wall of bullets just endless oh, i just I, I can't wait for more games to come out because this will open up people's ideas of what is possible on Hell yeah. the 2600. So like even people in the chat are like, oh, you could do upgrades. this, you could do this. You, you gotta do this. die and be reborn. <laughs> That's right. Avenge the, you know, Kurtwood Smith's murdering <laughs> of you. Uh, man, it's hard. Hard on expert. Yeah, this is not a this is not an easy no game. Play no playtime. No downtime here. This is the black stealth enemies are ground based and don't move, right? I guess. No, Those, they're moving. They're, they're definitely moving. They're not ground based because I've you they're hit them in the in in the air. Um, anything else anybody wants us to do with this game before we move on? Because this, uh, we played it on easy. We saw quite a bit into it. Played on expert and just Dude, got punished. The way bad. to do it. Got destroyed. Is there a section of map where you get the, to the base and there's lots of roads and pyramids? There's there's stuff that he hasn't. That's possibly the case. I mean, he did say that he wants to add like a, the Andor Genesis mothership. I feel like that might be the pyramid based thing, but it yeah. could, he could also have that in there, and we just didn't make it. The bowling balls, yeah, air based, yeah, they are they are yeah. air based. 
Uh, one CC it really quick. What? <laughs> What's that? What's one CC? One CC it real quick. Doctor. Moo cows. What is you one gotta CC? You got to let us know what that means. One, one credit, credit clear. clear. What's that mean? <laughs> one credit. Well, one credit is one quarter, As which in... is one game. But clear? Do you want to do another one on novice? See how far you can get. That might not sure. be a, that might not be a bad hit. Yeah, so. I got pretty far. Two player simultaneous for the home version. There may be. Oh no, do intermediate. Yeah, we should do intermediate because we already just see like how. Yeah, let's try that out because I feel like now we've we've done some stuff. That's that's yeah. a that's a one credit clear right there. We're gonna yeah. do intermediate. <laughs> see how far James can get. Uh, Mother Sharp isn't there yet. All the objects and pyramids are there. Oh. Yeah, two players simultaneous would be incredible, and sounds like it's possible. It's, it's part of the plan. I think so. Yeah, after expert, this is a walk in the park. Yeah, you're gonna get it like you, you know. So that's what you gotta do. You gotta train with weights, and then when you're yeah, ready to the run, put the donut on the bat, and then. And when you're ready to run, you'll feel light as a feather. Practice taking the swing, you know. It's like um, it's like they say with races, man. If you're doing the hundred meter dash, you got to train on 150 meters, 200 meters. You know, you always got to You got to run for 120. You can't just. <laughs> oh, S. Ramirez just joined. Hey, S. Ramirez. He work kept him just away. Just in time. It always does. Get to see. The magic yeah, see, of Zevius. Whoa, see, that was a good bomb placement, man. You, you, That's the, the way. The more you play, the better you get, especially on Expert. Yeah, I start to learn the tactics. And the positioning and, and the movement I like of this fast I like that it was a, almost felt like a different map um, on Expert. I think it was just because it, there was different like enemies, but because yeah. the situation of enemies happened, it almost feels like, I mean, that's good oh, replay yeah. value, man. Oh, it is. It, it feels like a totally different game on Expert. There's so much going on. See, I did way better. Oh yeah, definitely. Way better in my first life. Yeah, you can kind of pass by them and throw a bomb to the ground a little bit easier after you play it a little bit more. Yeah. I'm, I'm showing off. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't be. Fundamentals, man. Yeah. That's what you always got to get back to. Don't get too crazy. Yeah, whenever things get... Um, it's always tempting, though. It's always tempting. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh. It is, is it... Yes, you can do both at the same time. You can actually hold down both buttons and it just keeps bombing. But yeah, I wouldn't it's recommend... It's not a good tactic, though, because you have to be precise with your bombing. Yeah, not just throwing them. It's not going to work. No. But the nice thing is, is once you place the bomb, you can then move. Yeah. Which is a big deal. So you can kind of, like, move bomb right it up and then, and then get out of the way, you know? Yeah. It's the way to go. Actually, it turns red when, when it's over something. That's right. It lets you know, like, what you can and can't bomb. But you're moving so fast, it, it's kind of like, eh, you have well, to yeah, kind of you, anticipate and if it you're a bit. looking at what's red and what's not, you're no. probably not dodging. No. Oh, I didn't see that coming at me. Bullets are tiny. Not too tiny, you can't see them, but they're really tiny. Listen to the... No, I couldn't make oh, it through that. No. Wrong way. Pick the wrong path. Stay back and... Anticipate the path you need, because they clump up. Oh yeah, most definitely. Luckily, I don't think those the ground-based stuff shoots. But, damn it, I went forward. Do one more. Yeah, yeah. Didn't do it too well. Thirty-eight play field wide. Uh, the title screen? Do not know. It's pretty wide. Oh, the the whole thing, thirty-eight across. Um, he did say the the. He covered the H moves on the left. Um, so it probably is 38, because in total, in total there's 40 playfield uh, um, pixels across. 
Wow. So, which is not a lot. But, whoa! Well, that, that was, was a, uh... That was really close. Oh, yeah, you get a thousand points with that, oh, man. Oh, wow. Definitely fin go for I them, finally, man. uh... You saw it? Yeah, I was. Uh, I actually tried to clock it this time. Nice. That is definitely worth going for. It's a hundred for um, these guys normally. Yeah. Oh, it looks like actually it's a bit higher now that you're like in a different level. Uh, okay. Yeah, maybe, maybe it does depend on what level you're on, uh, the scoring. But usually it doesn't. It just gets harder. Damn it! I took you out though. Yeah, man. <laughs> Wow, that seemed the, a lot to the left to get both of them. Yeah, I always think you land it right in the middle of those two, you know? Yeah, that's what you want to go for. Oh, god damn it. It's not an easy game. No, it is not. So, I like intermediate a lot. I've I feel seen... like intermediate's a really nice balance of challenge versus, like, novice is cool, too. But it's but pretty it's easy. It's a different thing, and intermediate it's is, like, kids. yeah... That's, for, you, that's for, for your niece or nephew when they're kind of hanging out on Christmas and you want right. to like get them into it. And then you go, you know what real men do? <laughs> they play Real expert. men play this on expert. They want to see. And then you <laughs> shove them aside and you show them how good you are. And when they try to leave the room, you make them sit down. <laughs> and watch you. Watch your uncle play Xevious. This is games back like, in the I day. Like, I want to play my iPad. You're going to sit the fuck down and watch. <laughs> <laughs> watch me play. Okay, Uncle Steve, we kind of like need to open some presents. No. Yeah. Expert. This is the difference between men and children. <laughs> the good thing is you can pass over the ships in the water without dying. Like oh, yeah, definitely. I just encountered that, which which makes sense. But... Well, it's nice to see a game that has... um a nice balance between um, different options because it's actually a very difficult thing to do to try to like make a novice version to make a version of the game that's just entry level to make yeah. something that's a bit more challenging and then to scale it up yeah. um, especially for a game like this because I mean I guess if you were just playing in the arcade you plug in your quarters and the game's the game the right? Ga it is like they're um, not going to give you they give you nothing yeah so speaking of that the game balance actually feels right Definitely, and it's great to have the different options, and it just, it, it seems like it'll scale really nicely if you wanted to. Like, novice, you can play a long time. Try doing time. an advanced one real quick, just yeah, to see what advanced. that's like, because I'm just very curious. Um, yeah, we didn't play advanced. I expect my ass to get kicked, yeah? Double, double ships are coming. Yeah, so this just seems like, now I feel like we're more in the expert zone. This is probably arcade. Level. Yeah, well, this seems more like, um, uh, yeah, like, uh, like... Yeah, if you wanted to train for expert. Well, it's nice to know that you can kind of, like, skip. I mean, that's... It's cool, because in these styles of games, skip bang for your buck, you really need to, like, have scalability. Oh, um, yeah. Otherwise, you're kind of, like, you know, you lose, lose interest. Because you don't want it too easy for you don't the want... expert players that are coming from the arcade going, oh, that's too easy. Yeah, yeah and, like, also people who've, like, played, I mean, friggin' games like this, I mean... Yeah. I mean, I guarantee you're going to walk in with a skill set and an ability that's much higher. Like, I don't play these games, so, like, I feel like I'm definitely a novice. But, like, someone who's, like, maybe seriously dedicated themselves, you know, since, in some case, the 80s doing games like this, like, <laughs> yeah. you're definitely going to want to be on Advanced or Expert. And I think it'll and I think it'll give you a challenge, which is good to see. Oh, yeah. So you want the full range, and this definitely delivers. Like, and Expert is going to punish you. And you can bully your nephew with your... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you think you're good at games? plug this in <laughs> see how long they survive yeah there's no continues billy there's no, no continues. continues there's no continues in life that's right you you you, you fall down there's no one's gonna pick you up <laughs> okay uncle steve <laughs> okay steve i really just want to play on my ipad when you want to touch your screen yeah yeah my day we couldn't touch screens no. we had one button <laughs> billy this says this is Steve. This has two buttons. Well, we got lucky sometimes. <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Oh my God! Wow, yeah, that's Just not um... filled. Yeah, and what's really demoralizing is I believe you haven't made it to like the first continue yet, James. Uh, this one, yeah. Is... Oh, maybe. No, I don't think. 
like this feels pretty pretty early pretty early yeah which is yeah. Oh my look God, at this bullet oh this is the first continue yeah so you made it at least to the first continue um yeah T terrible terrible the f the flicker management is really good in it like um you don't notice the flicker in the characters oh delivery oh someone came to visit yeah. I'm, I'm guessing that's Amazon or some online yeah, sales. Probably because, oh my god, no, we don't get online, we don't get door-to-door <laughs> sale, -door salesmen. Uh, Erlen, Erlen's getting dark. Okay, incredible. What yeah, what a say? cool game, man. Uh, this really pushes forward what you can think is possible on the 2600. Absolutely. For shooters, for scrolling, play fields for um detail of playfield graphics this is like well beyond a lot of what you've seen before especially in shooters and just the sheer amount of things that are going on on the screen is really unheard of oh in, yeah in a 2600 and game. cool to see the range novice um yeah. intermediate advanced expert feels like a nice and i'm noticing it seems to me that like the advanced expert is very similar in terms of those first things you got the double enemies you have more bullets it's yep. nice to i feel like that's like those like almost like novice is like novice and intermediate are kind of similar but you just have more bullets slight step slight then, step up and so yeah expert is punishment you yeah. think you're good you're not good i feel like you're the good. jump from uh, uh from intermediate to advanced is quite huge and i feel like probably advanced yeah. to expert might not be as huge i mean obviously it's not gonna be much. challenging but i could notice a big difference because if you think about that like you were able to get to like ninety thousand on novice yeah you get to be able to get an intermediate around 20 to 30, 20, 30. and yep. then in um ex advanced and expert you it's were 10. pretty much the same like i don't think yeah. you were able to you yeah you kind of couldn't even get past and in some ways you did worse on advanced than expert but yeah. i think it's also just like the fatigue of, of playing too yeah. but luck when, of the draw too but i think i would suspect that when you get deeper into the game that advanced expert would probably start to branch out yeah and as, as as the enemies start multiplying yeah, yeah if you get deep into this thing so it's cool to see something with such depth i mean it's yeah. they said and nathan it, says that as well big jump between intermediate to advanced yeah yeah, um, which is like the thing that's but, neat though is that intermediate seems pretty tough. It is, and, yeah, um, and if it's you're, tough well, enough. Like, that's probably what I would play on, like normal playing. Yeah, and then once that gets too easy, and you want to kind of do a different challenge, but yeah. I'd love to see some like serious gamers, people who are like we'll, seriously good at we'll shooters. See, we'll see that as soon as this is released. We'll play see and see how far you can get on expert, man. As I said, I think expert would be an incredible one to do one of those like top. You know, one of those one, those ones. Yeah. How far can you get? Yeah. Because that guy always does the high score thing, and yeah. it would be I'd love to just see like what's the highest score Who someone could get it. on expert with this. Because <laughs> yeah, I think I could probably do about ten to twenty, and that would be it. I yeah, don't. I after don't. After a lot of practice, I maybe twenty. Yeah, I yeah. don't. Twenty would be pushing it. So anyone, if someone could get a hundred thousand on expert. That, oh my god that would be like that's patch worthy I'd watch, that'd be interesting to just watch yeah just yeah. see like what sort of tactics oh don't and... set the patch at a hundred thousand on expert oh my god is that nobody is, will ever get it that would be like that's, that's the real brutal. that's the difference between children and men <laughs> that's right <laughs> um cd dash w thank you so much is... thank you so much chris for for uh allowing us to debut this unbelievable feat yeah man of uh, programming and and Nathan, such an incredible job you did on the graphics, as per usual. It feels we like... expect no less. the The play field is just gorgeous. It's unbelievable what you've been able to accomplish um, with the look and the and be able to program the game to scroll smoothly with that. No, I don't. There's no patch. I'm just fucking around. No, no patch. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm just, uh, I'm no just patch, talking yes. out of my ass as I do it all the time when I'm on the show. <laughs> no patch. I know yet. I know very little. I... <laughs> so there we go. Zevius by Chris Walton. Wow dude. Nathan Strum. It's 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 so amazing to play these games and to to have them feel like an arcade game and to, to just forget completely that it's a twenty six hundred. Oh, and yeah. just be like this is a game that you could play on any system. Definitely feels like an arcade game, man. Oh yeah. Um, so we're gonna go over to, uh, Frantic. Oh, you're shooting for an end-of-year release? Well, he said it's 80% done. 
eighty percent. That's I mean, pretty this feels damn close. Pretty fucking good, man. Like, you could release this. And what are like our to dos? Are are like basically we gotta get the mothership. Yep. Uh, and or Genesis mothership high score table. Yeah. Uh, Atari Vox support. Not sure about including speech. Cause I'm yeah, not sure. and I would say that's like lower on the priority list. Obviously, yeah. it'd be awesome to have. Yeah. Um, but I'd say those, yeah, those first two are just pretty important. Yeah. Um, um, attract mode, it's a bonus to show, oh yeah, things. Are, and then two players support. I feel like that's in tiered. I do feel like that. It I, is. It's definitely. very obviously like number one is the most important to Put everything three. that's in the original game in this game, yes. Yeah, that's the first priority. But really, honestly, after that, like. You could totally release this game, man. Like it's yeah. unbelievable. But these guys love to add on bonuses. This, yeah. this is like the two player that like um John Champo has been adding two player games to things that didn't never had two player. And it's like, well that's a step up. Yeah. And really, really sells the, the, the game. It's good to take yeah. things somewhere new. Yeah. No timeline for release yet, but hopefully soon. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, well, yeah, man, you got to take your time and time to get to. We're gonna time, time to get to, frantic. Time to get really frantic because last episode we didn't get a chance to really play it or talk about the game as in mm. gameplay too much. Cool. And we haven't played this actually Ready. since 2018. So which one? What's this? The first one right here? Uh, yeah. yeah. That's today's date. Bam. Frantic. And then bin, right? Yep. Bam. The binary. So this is by Daryl Spice Jr. This is actually an exclusive update <laughs> because he sent it to me uh, an hour before the show, so I didn't advertise it, so move over. Up to the top, to the maze, move over to the right. Now you're playing Frantic. There were other ones, Berserk. Oh, I see. I think I remember this game. So there's all the options. It's been a while. So we've got, uh, we've got the voice in it now in this update, so there's going to be lots of fun little thing so go for extra lives okay um go up to five for extra lives where, where is that lives k five cool and uh one k is good yeah robot shots uh five's fine uh, wall flicker uh i find two is a nice medium one is homing. really crazy i figure everything else one homing missile yeah for the enemies is that the new bar? Is that the new bar? Yeah. Yes. Better than 7,800 is the new bar for 2,600 games. Wow. Yeah. Another 7,800 port surpassed. First Galaga, then Robotron, now Xevious. Oh, yeah. Chris knocked it out of the park. Really floored me when he showed the first builds. Wow, yeah. What should you do? Start? Let's do this. Yeah, go for it. Now, shoot the enemies. Don't be shot by them. Move away from the where you start because the bouncing guy comes. Um, I'll get oh, oh shit! And there you go. Oh, oh, uh -oh. oh! There's a new bug. There was like a. Okay, so can I like yeah, run out of the screen? Like yeah, I don't but it gets harder the more screens you go oh. through. So you want to? I like this character though. Oh, the detail in this is unbelievable. So this build is from today. Uh, August 18th. This was first posted uh, April 17th, 2011. Oh, so this is just a robot there, right? Yeah, one, one dude. Do I kill him? Uh, yeah, don't go back that way. Dude, I'm fucking okay. running. Run, 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 run. Run. Don't hit the walls. Run. Run. Whoa. Okay. I feel like I'm playing this like a Canadian. Just super <laughs> passive. You can shoot through those shoot walls. These walls, man. But not the uh, flashing walls. They'll bounce Girl, back at okay. you. You can shoot bullets. There you go. And you can shoot him to reset him. Okay. So if he gets really close, you can shoot him. This one's dangerous. Okay, don't shoot the bouncing guy this time. Uh, you want to get to the exit really quick on this, this level. Okay, I'm just going to bail. This is another CDFJ game. Uh, other games, Draconian, Frantic, Kaboom, Deluxe, Medieval Mayhem, RPG, Demo, R Space Rock, Stay Frosty, Stay Frosty 2, and Timmy. Um, you can download the demo of this okay. or this game in the Atari age forums right now not this build feel like but the build before this which like is i don't know why but i feel like this guy's name's rex i don't know just rex, rex running around sounds like a rex. just like feels like you know like he's got that kind of that space vibe okay. lost in space type deal oh yeah oh, God. slow balls there you go whoa that's a homing those Shooting are the homing ones the so they can walls. change they can change directions there you go. 
You can't shoot your way through. I would. Not, not I don't. No one advises not, it though. Not, <laughs> it's it's takes takes time. Um, so Daryl no uh, messaged me this morning. Just noticed you're playing Frantic again. Uh, made a couple fixes sure to stealth mode. The humanoid no longer becomes invisible, and neither do the special room objects, which was being a bug carried over from the DPC Plus version. Oh, oh, I'm just getting so nailed by this level, man. This is a tough level. Last life. Yeah, the, they shoot more bullets as time goes on. Holy shit. And they do shoot themselves, too. <laughs> if they're shooting against <laughs> reflecting. What's this thing under here? Oh, shoot that. And then they stop uh, moving. No, you're fine. You can't kill it. But they still uh, can fire, but they can... Oh, I stood in front of the But bullet. they stop moving. So shoot it again. Dude, there's like multiple homing missiles. Oh! oh right into the wall. I, I thought I would like try to escape. Whoa! So... Okay. Go to stealth mode. Stealth mode? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There you go. Good job. <laughs> In your face, machines. So this is uh, based on a 1982 um, arcade game, Frenzy. This is frantic. Nothing to do with Frenzy whatsoever. Um, uh, and when he posted it in the forums, uh, Daryl Spice Jr. said, uh, as revealed on tonight's Zero Page Homebrew, Last episode. Frantic has been rebooted using CDFJ and now features speech using Atari Box. Oh, no. okay. Thanks to Nathan Strom for his Shit, quick man. work on creating oh, the Atari oh, Fox oh, data oh, for me. What a level. And thanks okay. to S. Ramirez 2008 for helping to playtest. Ooh, we got the inside scoop. Ramirez! And S. Ramirez 2008 says, Love the look of the sprites. They're extremely detailed. Like, you take a look at the guy, and it's like really tiny uh, pixels. And the animation on him is so good. The running animation? Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be a challenging level. Because you got to get away from that. Do not shoot the bouncing guy. Yeah, you better shoot your way out of that. I couldn't even... Yeah, I should have just shot my way out, man. That would have been the way to do it. Oh my god. Can you exit through this holes you shoot in the wall? You can actually exit through. You can make your own exit. Oh, I shot the wrong direction. That's embarrassing. <laughs> um, console oh switches. God. The black and white score shows the, the time remaining for the vertical blank and overscan if you switch it to black and white. Time remaining has been significantly improved over the DPC Plus version, which would jitter and roll the screen when there was lots of action. Uh, left difficulty A, max robot stress uh, test. Uh, Score will be read and the player does not lose a life, so you can play forever. So there is an infinite play mode. Uh, right difficulty A, frenzy special room test. Every room will be a special room. And if you press game reset and game select, you go to the sound tools. So you can hear all the voices. So you can shoot that thing. And it'll stop the robots. But from these moving. guys are pretty rough. Like I just couldn't. I like stealth mode a lot more though. Yeah, it's quite a challenge. Stealth mode is much more fun because it's just more is going on. You gotta like memorize like where they're positioned, and it's very very satisfying when you like. When you get one of them. Yeah, like look it's at this guy. Deadly. Bam. They don't move much, I guess. Holy Whoa, shit! Oh, you could shoot yourself accidentally. Nice. Holy crap. Okay, this Whoa! level is Find an exit. Find an exit, or make an exit. <laughs> there you go. Oh my god, you made it. Somehow. <laughs> Holy shit, I don't know what this is, but I'm That's shooting another, it. I think that disables their shots. That one? Oh, they're running into each other. Yeah. Oh, they go crazy. They, they go they, frantic. They go, they go frantic, like literally. That's, oh. And they start running into walls and each other and killing Damn. themselves. Special, uh, Frenzy special rooms are Big Auto, which is the big face. I remember we played like a Christmas game of this or something. Halloween game. Oh, yes, of uh, Berserk. Oh. And it changed it to... I was doing so well and then I died like nine times in a row. So, here you go. Damn. Um, start off with Frenzy special rooms. Dude, Big Auto will launch a swarm of autos if you shoot auto. So I don't recommend that. Power plant. Shoot it. 
and robots stop moving, they can still shoot. Central computer, shoot it and the robots stop shooting, plus they'll move in random directions. Crazy. And factory creates an additional tank robot. So I don't oh, know if that's okay. to your advantage. Uh, I'm gonna guess. Well, they don't shoot at you anymore, so I think it is. Okay, so um, uh, sound tools and uh, phrase zero is Atari Box reset, so is silent. Word zero, twenty three, and twenty four are silent. Um, pitch. Uh, just pitch of both phrase and word, speed adjust speed, and note, some of the words are at or close to the max speed due to how the Atari box works. The speed is increased too much, it wraps to a slower speed. Stop that. Stop that. your, uh... Wrecking the couch. Note, we missed a bug with stealth mode that I'll fix next week. Which you did. You note fixed it. two, the reflective you walls like mostly like work, but at times a shot can get stuck, stuck in them. Like, this occurs for players' shots as well as the robots. I think he fixed that too. I haven't seen that yet. Yeah, buddy, you fucking come hang out if you want. Oh, not you can meow on our faces. Totally up to you, Oh, Pixel. yeah, I didn't move away from your start point. Always move away from your start point because that's where, that's where he's auto he's comes. Dude, you gotta fucking Okay, oh my god. Oh my god. Hi, you here to play? Okay, I'm gonna show you what happens. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I'll die instead. Okay, I'm gonna show you what happens when you shoot auto, when you're in a big auto room. I'm gonna be near the exit because it's crazy. <laughs> Five of them appear and they come fast and they go directly for you. you. It's death. It's certain death if you're not near an exit. Wow, I like the, I like attack. stealth mode the best, man. That's my favorite mode. Okay, he st he still needs to fix this, but watch this. Watch my score. Yeah, I feel like that's uh, <laughs> a problem. Let's call that cheesing. Is what that <laughs> yeah. Yeah, bro, I got a hundred thousand points on uh, frantic. You know. Yeah. Can I see that gameplay? <laughs> no, you know. No, it's, I got it. You just I'm, trust I'm me. I'm pretty good. I'm good for it. You know me. I can I can show you the end screen though. <laughs> yeah, with the score. Revit Archie, Teep Foes. Later, T. Like Have a good a one. You too, man. Ah. Um, yeah, he said he's going to fix it, so after a while, uh, he goes red. And he, you can't yeah, shoot him anymore. Yeah, room is effed. Oh, i got to get away from that. Yeah, that exit entrance. Oh, he shot at the last second. I love that you this. can create your own, like, exits. Yeah. It is awesome. And get your. Dude, I feel like this guy's name's Rex. I bet he has a name. I'm gonna look him up. I wanna, I wanna call him oh, Rex. What's shoot. a good last name? <sighs> Rex Danger. Rex. Rex Power. Danger is great, man. This is Rex so Danger. So cheesy. <laughs> Rex Danger. Rex Danger versus the robots. I mean, it's R E X, but it sounds like Rex. He Rex. That's he right. Rex, Rex Danger, Danger, man. That's he who he robots. is. Oh, he shot his friend. Don't shoot your friend. There's your punishment. Rex Danger at your service. Ah, <laughs> oh, shot the bullet. Hey, stop! Ah. He was an engineer <laughs> on a spacecraft <laughs> plummeting <laughs> towards <laughs> Mars. <laughs> and one day, Rex Danger woke up to see that there were some malfunctions in the robots. In the worker robots. <laughs> oh, I gotta shoot it. Will Rex Danger uh, dodge the homing bullet? I gotta shoot that. So I love the sprite that he's just kind of running through. Yeah, they all just de destroyed themselves. They all ran into walls. It's tough because when they're so um, when they're so close to you, the good thing is when you die, the oh my God. I did that. I ran into a wall out of fear. Um, I love the designs though of the robots and everything. So good. We got Rex Danger just running through. Nathan Strum on the design again, I believe, if I remember correctly. Stop it! Yeah, Rex Danger was gonna be the first guy to populate Mars, man. He was gonna like he was going there. He was leaving his 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 life behind him. Rex Kramer. 
Rick's no, dangerous. Rick's dangerous, the way to do it. Just notice that the bullets are colorful. Hey, you're all not in, not oh, they are colorful. Flying a plane is no different than riding a bicycle. It's a lot harder to put baseball cards in the spokes. <laughs> Rex Kramer. Is that his saying? No, that's hilarious. Oh, there's a bug. That's right, man. Oh. It's not an easy. Like I'm pretty far in the game now, so that's why it's gotten harder. I think I think also you kind of cheesing the oh, the I game cheated. really definitely. Like, I have like 20 lives. Now. You have 20 lives. Damn. Yeah. Like that. It's off the off the board. Oh, because you just you just work the auto. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> gotta find a way to fix that. Uh, I not think so. Just gonna, just there. Oh my god! Look at that guy. He's going nuts. He oh, they go so fast now. Dude. Oh, I got a oh my god, look how fast they are. Oh, oh so you said uh, Dave uh, uh, Barquez oh, okay, did, um, all did all the graphics. He also did uh, Medieval Mayhem. Oh. I remember that for the, on the 24 hour stream. A 12 hour yes. stream. 24 hours. This is different. <laughs> Factor of two. Where am I? Ah. Chicken fight like a robot. Chicken fight like a robot. There's the bug. Uh oh. I just wanted to. Oh, Holy sh! Oh, what is going on? Oh, we maxed out the screen. He rolled it. Sometimes you push it too far with yep. Rex. Yep. Even oh Rex God. can't handle this level. Yeah, you hit 20,000, so. Oh my yeah, I think 20,000. 20,000 was definitely a uh, step up. Yeah, things, the robots got faster. Oh my God. Or it could have been level 20. Either one of those. Ooh. They're so deadly. Oh. This is like one of those... Uh... Oh, <laughs> Okay. Not auto killed him. <laughs> Thank you, Auto. Oh my god. This guys like these guys are pursuing you much more intensely. Way more. This is uh it's getting Watch dangerous. Oh, not that. You can shoot the walls and get points. Wow. If you can shoot this whole column. Let me see if I can... Where am I? Ah, Holy so shit. many things on the screen, I can't even tell where I am. Oh my god. Oh he shot himself. Yeah, deal with oh my, oh look my at them! Dude, that is all homing fucking missiles. Just a continuous stream of homing missiles. Oh god. Yeah, I feel like after 20,000 points, this is fucking difficult. To seriously, went up. Yeah. He says this is a known issue. The oh. later levels. Oh, this is? a lot of sprites. Like, <laughs> I started moving, I have one second to move. When you fly too close to the sun, you eventually get burnt. There you go. Should I try one more? Or? Yeah. I'm going to do stealth mode. I like stealth mode. The, is the known issue the, the uh, screen roll? Or is the known issue the crazy Chicken fast robots? Like you always appear in a new maze at the location where you left la the last one. Oh, okay, so if you go through that, you'll appear in Chicken the top. Like yeah, he almost scrolls. But he does go off the screen. I don't know. Oh, oh shit. I, I shot myself, man. Rex! Why would you shoot yourself, Rex? It was the only way out. I had to make him believe that I was dead. <laughs> That's right, man. I had to make them believe. <laughs> it worked. So was I wrong? I thought I was dead. I'm like a phoenix. I rose from the ashes. Rex! You're going to build your own way out. Sometimes when there's no door, you just gotta make one. You gotta make your own doors. You gotta make your own opportunities. <laughs> no one's gonna hand you anything in life. Frantic, the movie. <laughs> Rex Danger! Rex Danger in Frantic. Oh my god, Rex. <laughs> You've done it again. You've saved us. All I don't know where work. these goddamn robots, robots came okay. from. All I need is some more red boots. <laughs> red boots and a trusty phaser. Let's get you through anything. <laughs> screen roll. Okay. Yeah. There was a there was some screen roll there. But there was a lot of robots. So either he has to cut down on the robots. Oh no. Rex. Rex. Oh god, these homing missiles. Hot for cuddles. Yes, it is. Oh holy shit. Holy shit. 
Okay. Oh, right back to where you started. Oh shit! I'll do one more because stealth is relentless. Hi, hi. Chicken, I like a robot. So during the um, developer spotlight, there was a slight echo because we had to hear Darren. And so you heard his direct feed, plus him coming over the speakers into the microphone. Um, so, oh. so I ordered um, a Bluetooth transmitter and wireless Bluetooth um, earbuds. And that might have been them uh, at the door. And oh, oh I made it too. Yeah. So for the next Holy developer shit. spotlight, which is uh, John Shampo, sometime oh in September, God. October. I don't know what to do about this. Down. It can only change direction once. So you're, you can keep shooting him and then go through. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can build your own. Well, oh. you oh. Just get out of there. So for John Shampoo's, we'll have earbuds in, so you won't get that echo next time. So, upgrade. <laughs> the That's a lot of talking. The aliens are speaking to me. <laughs> I can hear them in my sleep. I wake screaming, covered in sweat. But they're real. They're not a dream. <laughs> they're everywhere. Every day you wake, gotta believe me. <laughs> every day I wake up in this nightmare, this labyrinth, these so, invisible robots. It's, it's always the '80s uh, movies where it's the heroes trying to convince everyone that the thing that's pursuing him is real, but nobody will believe him until it's way too late. Wait. It's like I've been telling you from the goddamn beginning. <laughs> they're real. They're here, and they're gonna kill you. They won't stop till everyone's dead. Their plan to take over. Oh my god. Rex. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Love the gruff Duke oh. Nukem voice. It's the it's the eighty superhero man. It's voice. the only way. It's it's from years of drinking and smoking and hard living. Whoa, okay, I fucking dodged that. It's from years of hard living. You get that voice. That you do man. voice. I've seen things. Things you wouldn't believe. Of course that's from uh, a lot of things. A lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I like stealth mode a lot, though. It's a it's a step up challenge, and it, it it's good because. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh my god! Bye, Mr. Ramirez. Rex. Thanks for testing this game out. There you go. Yes, now they're not going to move anymore. They still fire, but they won't move anymore. Oh, Amazing, amazing from Spiceware. So does it good. again, of course. We're playing all the heavy hitter games That's right. on this show, for Rex sure. Danger. Uh, we'll just play a little bit of the original. Cool. The upgraded original. Uh, I don't like stealth as much. <laughs> it's very hard. Oh, I'll play I like stealth because it's kind of like this other layer. Like I feel like without stealth, it gets a bit boring for me. True. Not that it's like, not that it's a boring game, but like I feel like this adds this element of like excitement. You get this flash. They don't shoot in this one, so you have to memorize the first one. So you tell the difference between one? children and men. <laughs> Stealth mode. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Fucking Rex, man. Oh god. So in this, they don't shoot. So you have. To, oh, they do shoot. Oh, just not on the first one. What am I talking about? Dude, in the sequel, Rex oh, manages, you manages to convert one of the robots to be a sidekick. Oh, yeah. Oh, run away from the bullet directly. That's how you do it in cartoons. Like, okay, I can't see anymore. Yeah, you can't. can't shoot your way out. Nope. you got to make your way to the exit. At least be near one. Oh, we can shoot bullets. Yeah, I noticed that's the way to deal with like, the homing ones. Hey, guys. Oh, yeah. Huge improvements over the original Berserk. Like, just the graphics alone. Look at the robots and the, the scanning eye on them. Oh, this, this doesn't have the bug. Yeah, you gotta do that. Like, I don't think you should get points for the like a no. Well, whatever the arcade has. Oh, oh there's a bug. I saw the bug in this one. With the line that flickers. It's a lot harder when you can't shoot through walls, man. <laughs> Yes, it is. It's different. It's a gotta make your way. Uh, like, ah, 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 don't shoot me! Don't shoot me! There we go. Let's go this way. 
chicken fight like a robot. Chicken fight like a robot. Is that was was that the dialogue? Yep. It sounded about right. Fight like a robot. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Charlie Box is such a great thing. It's so it creepy like too. Like it's like it's so oh. great for certain genres. Oh, anything with robots? Oh it's yeah, add the, perfect, add the robot man. voice into it. Oh, I gotta get away from this. Oh, they're running into each other. Oh my god, see, stealth is cooler. I like stealth. It is. It, adds, it, adds, it just adds this other dimension to it. And um, I like shooting through the walls, too, man. I think That's fun. I think Frantic's better than Berserk, personally. Well, yeah, it's a whole up, huge... That guy's trapped. Yeah. <laughs> I can't get him. That's funny. Oh my god. See, stealth, man. Stealth robot. What? Did I not get him? No, I don't think so. Did he move? Oh, you got him. He just... No, he didn't... He didn't explode. I think... I think you just hit him maybe right when he was, like, going under the, the cloaking device. Oh, God. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, there's another one there. Oh, how did I survive that? Just to die on that guy. I knew that guy was gonna shoot me. What? Oh, I ran into his explosion. And that's one thing that uh, Daryl said, that he... He liked the improvement on this, where you can run into their explosion. In the original Atari 2600 Berserk, um, you, you couldn't die on the Man, is the character as good as, as this one in the original? Because this oh, guy's no. so fucking great, man. He's, we got Rex just running around in his boots. He's, he's got his single color, chunky, so good. Classic 2600 graphics. Chunky, chunky. What? Oh, Stealth mode, mode, man. Gotta watch the screen. Gotta memorize where these fucking guys are. Huge upgrade. Super fun. Love the voices. I mean, Spice where he's done it again. He's really close to finishing this. Wow. So we're gonna get, like, um, in, in, in the Christmas release, or maybe spring release, we're gonna get Frantic. We're gonna get Xevious. We're gonna get... Um, not Zookeeper. What is John Shampoo's new one after that? He's terrible memory, so... That's okay. Oh. Uh, maybe we'll get Penalty. No, Robotron. Robotron. Robotron, that's man. it. So, we'll get two robot, <laughs> robot shooting games. That'd be hilarious. Frantic and Robotron. Hell yeah, man. That's, uh, that'd be amazing. So you gotta you gotta murder this patch now. Let's see if you can. Oh yeah! Now it is time for Oink, and I am fairly certain. I have never seen any any part of this game before. No. Ready. There's no Atari box in Oink. <laughs> Sadly. No. Um. So. Where's my? You need your iPad? Yeah. It's right Thank here. You. Uh, tablet. Oh yeah, sorry. There's no to... Apple in this house. Yeah, that's true. We banned it. No. <laughs> Go away, Apple. <laughs> so this is Oink by Mike Lorenzen. Uh, let's actually change the graphics because now it should say Oink instead of Frantic. Um, boom. Boom. I do all these graphics. You might as well see them. You can see the, uh, the game play it randomly doing things uh and this is an activision patch i have to get twenty-five thousand points damn um it's from 1983 it's a 4k game activision did packed so much into 4k it's unbelievable is that a, so that's a um uh... a wolf and a piggy and your little house that's made of bricks this is an old fairy tale right yep it's probably much more violent in the original but it's pretty violent the wolf it blows down. Blows he blows down, down houses. different houses. Um, What's that original? How's it go? I haven't heard that story in years. It was three different houses. One was made of straw. One was made of wood. Wood and maybe. And the last one was made of brick. And the brick ones. And and, and there was like the the one that was made of brick. The pig said, "Oh, you, you, to the other pigs, it's like, no, you sh you shouldn't make it out of that. The wolf's gonna get you." And the wolf goes to the first one, the straw blows it down, and then that pig runs to the second house, and then blows down the sticks, and then the, both of those pigs run to the brick house, and it doesn't get blown down. That's as far as I know. I'm sure it's much more dark Three and terrible, yeah. and they probably cook the wolf and What's dismember it. What's the parable it? about that, though? Just, just mooch off your friends if you fucked up? 
Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. It's like you're forgiven. Or maybe it kills the pigs in the original one and it's sanitized for modern. It, they always That must be the case, them. man. That it's yeah. like, and then he's just. The last pig laughs at the first He's like, I fucking rock for building <laughs> stone. So, uh, uh, other games made by Mike Lorenzen uh, Circus Atari, Oink, of course, and Pitfall 2 for the 5208 bit. He did the conversion. Um, and this is available on cartridge, which I just showed by Activision. And, and it changes colors depending on what house you're on. Wow. Um, Oink is an Atari 2600 video game designed by Mike Lorenz and released by Activision 1983. Oink is inspired by the fairy tale The Three Little Pigs. Hey. And casts the player as a pig defending his home from a wolf bent on destroying it. Oink received the 1984 Most Humorous Video Game Award at the 5th Annual Archie Awards. Um, so I'm going to play it. You're going to read out the manual. Sounds good. And there is a patch at 25,000, so we're going to vie for the patch. And if I get the patch, I'll put on the sash that Tanya made. Oh, this is starting to, <laughs> it's starting to come together. That's right. Oh, and let me get up the manual for you. Let's check it out. So you can help me with hints and stuff. Okay, so there's the manual, and you can go next to go to the next page, and it has all the different pages. Oh, <laughs> shit. Okay, so we got some oink basics. Let's hear the basics. Let's hear about this. So the object of the game is to score as many points as possible by helping the pigs patch their houses, thereby protecting them from uh, Bigelow B. Which is the Bigelow wolf. B is the name of the wolf? That's right, man. It's Bigelow. <laughs> it's also a gigolo. Bigelow the gigolo. Um, hook up your video game system and follow no, no, the no, manufacturers. No, no. You can skip all <laughs> We know how to hook up our video game system. <laughs> and which joystick it's to plug in. It's telling you that you should actually, you need to plug in a joystick. I don't know if that's, I've, I've got we already have that on our wrap. I'm but. pretty good with that now. Okay, and it says if you want to start a new game, you have to push the game reset button. Which, unfortunately, <laughs> I'd rather push the button, but uh, this Okay, one, okay, I'm going to skip through some of these things because I feel like... I feel like we got the idea. We got the base. Okay, we got some special features. So we got three little piggies, three little houses. Each pig defends its own house. The first house is made of straw, it's yellow. The second house is made of sticks, so it's brown. And the third is made of brick, so it's red. Each time you lose sticks. a pig, you move to the next house and the next pig. Also, you got three lives, man, and you got to just hold together your straw fort. Yep. The wolf who huffs and puffs. Whether your house is made of straw or sticks or bricks, the wolf will try to blow it down. And he'll blow a little hole in that little hole keep up the wolf. Losing a pig. If your pig is struck by the wolf's breath, he will fall down to the bottom of the wall, losing precious time. And if the hole is uh, wide enough for the pig to fit through, the wolf's breath will take him right out onto the lawn and then you've lost <laughs> the lawn. Pig. Yeah. I, I think something's going to happen to our little pig guy. I'm just going to, I'm just going out there on a limb. Oh, row after on. row. Every time a row of objects is used up, a new row appears. And if you can't beat him, join him. You and a friend can take turns helping the wolf in his uh, home wrecking crusade. In game number three, each player will alternate, ultimately have three turns helping the wolf, and really? three turns helping the pigs. Oh, wow. So you can help out the wolf do his Oh, thing, that's or the pretty pig. cool. That's kind of neat. Oh, he got me. Damn Let's it. go to like number five. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, dude, Mike. Mike Lorenzen. <laughs> Is he hanging out there? He's got a photo of himself, too. Yeah, he joined Activision the Activision to... uh, design team in January 1982. He has an extensive background in video game design, and we are pleased to introduce his first work on behalf of Activision. If you're helping the pigs, it's really crucial that you quick um, yet calm. Quick yet yeah, calm. Yeah, man. I'm not calm. Assertive <laughs> calm is how you lead. You'll soon realize your pig doesn't need to run all around to get the job done. Just never let a gap get wide enough for a pig to fit through. Nah. Anytime a wide space forms, be sure to drop a few objects in it. Yeah. Keep your pigs at the overhead patch um, supply for quick access. You'll soon find out um, that he doesn't have to be directly under any object to take it. Um, just in the general vicinity. 
That should save your pig a few steps. Try not to get in the habit of pressing the red button once to grab an object and then once again to release it. It is much more efficient to hold the button down after you've pressed it to grab an object and then move the pig into position and release the button. Yeah. Damn it. I don't know if you already intuitively picked that up, but that I sounds did. like a pro tip. It is a pro tip. Oh, dead. Um, damn it. If you'd rather help the wolf reverse your strategy. Um, whether you play the good guy or the bad guy, practice is the real key. But, we need a break. Drop me a line. I'll look forward to hearing from you. Didn't he sign this man, Mike? Let's see. Is there anything more on the last page? And we got our cool thing here. She's just telling us about the game. Wow. Yeah, I feel like uh, Mike Lorenzo's biggest help was this holding down the button. The oh, yeah. Good. It's a huge, huge help if you do that. stuff out man and you're and you're on the sticks house so you got the bricks left. yeah I, I died <laughs> unfortunately i died way too early though. that's okay you seem to be doing all right i mean you're oh yeah halfway there yeah, this is a problem when you're far away from the holes you want to be close to the holes or the or laying the bricks down too close to the holes. And you want to fill in the gaps because that's when he is able to drag you down to the bottom, which slows you down like that. Slows you down quite a bit. You want to fill in those gaps as much as you can. Yeah, let's see. Not yeah, good. you gotta. You gotta hustle. I don't know how much strategy there is of the wolf. I think he does aim for you. Like he, because after there's the holes get big, he seems to get you a lot. <laughs> Feels like a little aardvark uh, anteater, you know? <laughs> yeah, uh, except it, yeah, it's kind of his tongue. Like what is he? That's firing? what I was thinking about when I saw it. Firing? I was like, what is this? Ah, he says, so wait, isn't James supposed to be wearing the sash? No, that's only when I win. No, 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 no. That's only when I win. Or maybe I should be... Oh, damn. You need that lucky sash, man. Oh, no, we're under the red bricks. Last level. It's okay, though, man. This is how this is how she goes. That's right. And as you go up the levels, each brick is worth more and more, so... You get quite so, a bit of points. So there's some real tactics that can oh, come, come, come along here. Tactics are fill it in as quick as possible so you get another row of bricks. And stay so you can alive. Fill it in more. Oink. Ugh, such a long time. So 1982 stretch. was when this game was released, eh? Yeah, a long time ago. Well before you were born. Michael Lorenzo, <laughs> man. Yeah, 1991 was my birth. Oh, the gap. Oh, it's so far away. Don't worry, you're gonna get some new stuff soon. Uh -oh. oh, what the? Dude, you're so close. You uh, need to. Need a little break. Okay, cool. Uh, is that the end of the hints, or yeah, do you have that's some all hints? Yeah, that's all the deals. Okay. Oh. Uh, there we go. Point I posted on the two player simultaneous list on Atari Age. Oh, that's very cool, Captain Classic. There's a list of two-player uh, simultaneous games do you in did you include um homebrew games and if you did improve include homebrew games can you private message What's going me? on man i can't there you go you have to be over the gap there you go now you got it oh, i see okay. if you included homebrew games because that'll be very useful for when we do the quadtari episode where we're going to have four or five simultaneous homebrew games with joysticks. So we'll need that list because we want to play a lot of multiple people games and have like competitions. Wow. Man, I've never been so invested in pigs, <laughs> man. Got to protect those pigs. Graphics are really good in this. Like the big pig with the curly tail and the wolf. Really, really well done. 
Man, that's the meat I'm not a big fan of. Not a big Pig. fan of pork. Yeah, I think that's the first to go with anybody if they don't like certain meats. Just the taste of it is pretty rough, I don't know. Bacon's not bad, but I've never been like frothing at the mouth for it, you know? <laughs> but I mean, you can get that smoky flavor with any kind of anything really yeah it's all it, about the flavor when not i was about in china the there's so much stuff was made from pork it's just a much um, bigger part of um the meat that they eat over there which is kind of interesting hey scott lennox he says oink i dig it oh yeah it's very close to getting it getting the patch it's twenty two thousand. Twenty five. 25 yeah. no i would i yeah got. you were at twenty two thousand, so, i believe and i had a bad first uh bad first life i could have got a lot more I would fill those in on the left so you get a whole new rack of, because um, then you go, boom, It's going boom, up the boom, pitch, boom, boom, man. Boom. It is. It keeps going. Ooh, that was close. Got to fill in that gap so the pig doesn't fit through. Ooh, big gap. Ah, uh, just keeps getting you. And he steals your brick when he does That's that. That's rough, man. Stop stealing my stuff, man. <laughs> Yeah, fill that It goes up in. the, like, pitch. Do, 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 up and up and up and up. I think it's... Ev do you know about that thing where it's an ever-increase... It sounds like it's ever-increasing? Yeah, it's, um... It's uh, the duo tone and one comes in it behind. Called? There's Yeah, there's a name for it. Yeah. I think that's what it's doing. She I, it's Shepherd's? No. no. I don't know. Shepherd's tone. Even if you said it, I may not. Let me look I up know, the three little pigs. I, I know I heard it from um, that it was used in Dunkirk. Oh, really? That was uh, that was where I heard about it? Oh, from, that might have been where. From um, uh, Hans Zimmer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a cool movie. I like that movie. Seeing it in theaters, I yeah, saw it with my dad, good. which was a really fun. It was just a really fun go. And then when I finished it in theaters, I was like, man, I don't ever need to watch this movie again. <laughs> yeah, that was my. Not like not that it was a bad movie, but I was like it was so much of it really felt like a roller coaster. It's like yeah. watching it's like when I watched Avatar for the first time. I was like that was a cool, fucking cool movie, but I'm never gonna see it again. Cause like I it was just it, was cool. it, it just was like this like overwhelming. It's, it's an adventure experience. ride. Yeah, and I was like I was like this is dope to see this in theaters, but like I don't need to watch I don't need to go to Pandora in my house. <laughs> it was cool to see 3D technology for the first time. Yeah, I saw an analysis. Who, who did? Who did Dunkirk? Sorry, uh, was Christopher Nolan. Christopher Nolan. Yeah, I saw. I watched a video recently about Christopher Nolan's movies, and the person was theorizing that his movies are getting bigger, but the plots are getting thinner. Yeah, man. Of it, but he's Dunkirk done. is like the the pinnacle of well, the, no plot. Well, but like the thing about Christopher Nolan no is characters. he's like he fucking needs a writer. Like the yeah. thing is like you look at like Interstellar, it's like. If you read the script of Interstellar, you wouldn't be like, wow, this is some riveting shit. It'd be like, huh? Same with, like, Dunkirk, but, like, he fucking kills it as a director. Oh, my God. And that's where it's interesting. It's the same with Abrams, man, where, like, Abrams is not a writer. Like, he's a fucking great director. Like, oh, I love yeah. watching his movies, but it's like, you look, he's never been, like, a brilliant writer. And Shepard Tone, you got it. Oh, yeah. Because, uh, you know, and that's, and it's tough, because... Also, the length of movies is getting out of control. Oh yeah, I don't. I don't mind it if it can support it, but most are like, I'm yet "Do you need this much?" Well, yeah, and I don't it's think you need this that's much. also like, and then you, when you reach, I think personally, when you get past like two and a half hours, you should just make make it in a couple of different parts. Yeah, and then have the craft and discipline to go like, wait, like this needs to be an episode. Then, like, I can't just have an hour and a half first act. Like, why don't I do like a fucking four oh. act in an hour? Yeah. You know. So I've, yeah, you're done. Yeah, this is about as good stuff. As oh, so oh three little God. pigs is quite old, but it was first published in 1886. So this is the traditional version. So you can check it out and see if there's any like craziness happening. I bet there is. Okay, let's let's dominate this.
<laughs> oh yeah, this is the fucking third act. I didn't. <laughs> so the third act is the little piggy builds a brick house and the wolf fails to blow it down. And then he attempts to trick the pig out of the house by asking to meet him at various places. <laughs> okay. He's outwitted each time. Finally, the wolf resolves to come down the chimney. Oh. Whereupon the pig... Here it goes. Burns him up. Who right? owns, yeah. And it's and dies of death of by boiling, which is a Wikipedia page in and of itself. <laughs> death by if boiling. If you want to really get into death by boiling. <laughs> if you're into that, torture methods. Yeah. But, but medieval torture methods get pretty crazy. They well, get creative. Well, you know what's really weird about Nolan is in some ways he was a little bit, like he started his career in a way almost like um, M. Night Shyamalan, where his movies had these twists. Like you right. think about Memento, you think about The Prestige. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're, they were kind of like mind wear movies. And Memento was like certainly the most innovative, oh. wild movie he did. Yes. But it's kind of interesting because, yeah, later in his career when he got these bigger movies, um, his brother wrote a lot of them, um, oh. which is great. But I also think that, like, um, and I think the seriousness he took the Batman franchise was very cool. It was. I love um, those. But but at the same time, it's also, like, you know, the, the caliber of talent he had to work with, with a cast, is pretty oh unprecedented. It is. And that was, I think, the beginning of some really talented actors working on. I mean, like, this is a sad thing is, like, you know, when you, you know, you have, like, Ben Affleck doing, like, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, the blind guy. Oh, quite... yeah, Daredevil. Yeah, and, you know, mm. you didn't necessarily have, and I mean, Michael Keaton's cool, and, like, there's, but it was never, like, we never, like, to have, like, this really serious guy, like, Christian Bale, and to have, like, you know, fucking Liam Neeson, you know, and, and like, Heath Ledger, and, yeah. and Tom Hardy, and huge, it's just... Huge, huge talent. Yeah, and people who were, like, legit, and then to kind of, like, also strip it down and just be like, hey, he's, like this weird guy and also like it, the 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 source material year one which is a, such a fucking great graphic novel yeah was what most of batman begins was based upon right so you have super great source material hell yeah and then dark knight i feel like was um i mean he said he said like i want to make heat like i want to remake <laughs> heat but like right. with batman and you look at that opening and you look it's at true. heat and you're like it's totally Fuck. on it it's like the ultimate heist everything's thought of it's totally. just crazy action. And then and then the kind of like and then the and then also like recasting Katie Holmes and all that stuff. Like it was yeah. really kind of neat. And then I think that last movie was just um, again, it kind of like seemed like um, I mean, it was just hard when you have someone as electric as Heath Ledger. I mean, I think also think that was one of the great performances of of really like a long time. Oh, like just yeah. the innovative um, nature of it and how into that fucking role he was and and yeah, and I, I, I remember seeing that movie when it came out in 2008, and yeah. I remember like seeing it in theaters and really no, feeling no, 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 like no, no. I was seeing like a once in a lifetime thing, you know? No, no, no! And it's so damn sad it. that he died, man. It was, yeah, he had so much more to give. Yeah. That was not a good first life again! But yeah, and then Interstellar was... Um, Spectacular looking, some innovative. Um, but visual ideas like the four dimensional representation was quite good but it's so thin. well yeah it's too long yeah. and it's also that thing too where it's like um uh your your third act is like um michael you know kane monologuing you know like it's not <laughs> and then he and then being hanging out in a bookshelf you know like it's 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 oh. interesting that for a movie that sort of had so much spectacle and that's where i feel like dunkirk was in some ways the coolest thing he's done in a long time where you're just watching him kind of do his thing and take you into like what it would be like to be in in war because i feel like oh, he's yeah. does a director's movie like yeah. holy holy shit but it's hard i think you know the demand to be clever i mean is, memento yep. is legitimately clever and clever does not often make good writing like, you know and the pressure to up your game all the time it's like oh i gotta just gotta make it bigger 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 right yeah i mean the same same shit with oh, tarantino as well like i mean you look at pulp fiction look at reservoir dogs such clever movies but then yeah. it's weird because they sort of follow their own they sort of they sort of try to do their own thing almost um but but like always measuring themselves against themselves and, yeah and i liked i like that Nolan reinvented himself with the batman stuff with prestige doing all these genres did you ever see the one where he which has um al pacino and he's hanging out in like the the north it's a really weird movie oh i watched the insomnia i didn't want to watch the remake because it was like uh, there's a, a mon there's a hilarious montage of him like uh 
of him just like not being able to sleep. And I was like, that's such a great thing. Yeah. The, 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 the sleep montage. I have the original Insomnia on Criterion, but yeah. I've never watched the remake. Because the originals were quite good. I just, oh I'm not so hesitant to watch something that's like, oh, it's going to ruin it. Yeah, and it's, um... I don't... I never understood why people remake amazing films. It's like, the, the original's awesome. What do you... Why? Yeah, especially when there is, like, uh... Oh, God. There's so please. many fucking brilliant, like, novels yeah, right. that haven't been made. Like, so much oh, great yeah. shit out there. Um, but I think it's people want to make their mark, you know? They do. It's like, oh, well, let's take something that we know is going to work. But... And then remake it and know it's going to work and sell. But I also think, like... You know, you look at directors later in their career and it's like, they're often not as awesome because they don't have like a team in a way. It's like, it's all about me. It's, it's right. just, like the other thing that's wild about these Star Wars movies, for example, is that somehow J.J. Abrams wrote the script and you look at his career and it's like the best movies he's done has not been the things he's written. Like, mm. But, I mean, oh, what can you do? Yeah. Good. Some bricks over here I can use up. He's making a big hole there. Stop it, dude. Come over here. Come over on this side. This side. Make some holes over here. Yeah, Carl, you said I didn't like the idea of a Princess Bride remake when we oh, were God. around about that. Somebody's proposing that? Yeah, like, you think about the... the... It's not black and white. It's not a different language. Leave it alone. Well, yeah, and also, like, Peter Falk is, like, oh, yeah. about as b wonderful Somebody's as you get. recast Andre the Giant? Like, seriously. Yeah. Got my patch. Or, like, um, uh, uh, what the, what's his name? The fucking great bald guy who's so oh, good. Yeah. Um, did you ever see this movie called My Dinner with Andre? Oh, I want to. I Such a it. fucking good movie. And he wrote it, um, what's his name? Oh, Wally, really? um, Wallace Shawn. Um, My Dinner with Andre is a really, really good movie. It actually, like, it was, I watched that movie when I was, um, 18, and it really changed my life. Oh, wow. Um, there's very few life-changing movies. There are. Um, and that was one of them for me, but I, it might have been just a product of its time for mm. me, like, the, it was a perfect time of life to talk about it, but, it, I mean, it talks about spirituality and, like, in some ways just, like, living these different ways, and it's, it's very meta, it's about art, and, but it's almost, it's like, what it is, though, is it's, like, the precursor to podcasts. Like, it really is just two guys talking, having dinner, and you get to listen to this wonderful conversation. I mean, but they were both playwrights, and I mean, once again, like, you can't, like, recast Wallace Shawn. Inconceivable! <laughs> exactly. That's how I feel about that. You're just gonna be compared. Like, the whole time's like, that's not as good, that's not as good, that's not as good, that's well, not as good. Or we can get Chris Hemsworth, it's like, you know, like... <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, oh, caught my tail, just in time. Get Kristen Stewart as the, uh, you know... <laughs> <laughs> this is how it is was, but but I mean like but the thing is is at the end of the day it is like marketing 32 168 time to put on the sash the sash is on are you getting the actual patches on the sash or is this well, well they will be I'm just if I don't wear it backwards oh I see I see Does it light up too? Oh. It does. If I can find the button. Where's the button? Let's pull this out. Da da da. Dude. Point patch achieved. Patch is done. Flash. Oink. 25,000. Very achievable patch. That's <laughs> Anybody right. Anybody out there wants to get their oink patch, Dude, it's my, a recommend. My one. patch challenge is 100,000 points on expert. <laughs> uh, that that would be a definite worthy of a patch. Asking a, for sure on a Xevious. The difference between children and men. Uh, oh, it separates, <laughs> separates them out. Apparently we're all children. <laughs> <laughs> I, myself for sure. Needs to be music for the sash. I don't have any music queued up, but there definitely does need to be sash. We just gotta get like, what's the um, uh, trumpets? Uh, uh, what's the two thousand one Space Odyssey? Do. Do. Oh, 
Well, don't sing too much of it. We'll get copyright. Why am I? I'm struck. so off fucking tone. There's no <laughs> way I'm gonna. They're pretty crazy about that. Uh, we played an Atari the 26. The Spake Zarathustra. Is yes. that it? Yes, I think that's that it. is. Pomp and Circus. Da, 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 da. Oh, sorry, I won't like fucking. <laughs> I used to have playing bands, so I'd have to do that for. I did that for like four years oh, for all too. of the friggin' things. <laughs> like, you ran through all of those things. Yeah. You played trumpet. I played saxophone. Oh, Pomp yeah, and Circumstance right. was just yeah for everyone's grad. Oh yeah, and they got the the school band to play that. Yeah, yeah. It's all, always, and always badly too. No, uh, I don't know if anyone can play Pomp and Circumstance well. Like it's got <laughs> you know what I mean. It's it is that one of those tunes that it's really like it's not great. Unless you like really like go. I don't know. You got like fucking like, uh, you know you know, Wynton Marsalis in there, you know? Like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Wynton Marsalis could find a way to do Pomp and Circumstance cool, but you need you need a real, like, someone to really bring some energy 2 k Woo! Now available for download. Wow. Oh, wow, that's fast. Awesome. So everybody out there, grab it. Show's over. Go enjoy your Xevious. Uh, I want to thank all the people that tuned in today. Let me switch back to the chat. Um, I supposed to CD dash W special shout out to him for allowing us to play his amazing Xevious game that is now available at stores near you. Um, actually it's for free. Um, Nathan Strom, Scott Lennox, Carl G, uh, Gray Defender, Metal Atari 1969, Tete Fos, Trey Guy, Dan AVC, mm, Dr. Moo Cows. Uh, Splendid Nut. Who else? Carl G. If I didn't say him. Flackets. Um, Captain Classic I got. Thrust 26. Dianoid stepped in for a bit there. Wow. And we're at the top. Thank you everybody for watching today and checking out the new games. Oh. And let's go back to the full, full shot there. Oh, how long has that been up? <laughs> I don't know what that <laughs> the, was. The, the lens flare from the white screen on the know. side. It's too much. J.J. Abrams directed this Beautiful. episode. Light streaks across the screen. I did like the first act of um, Super 8 a lot. It's just the second and third was a bit silly. But that first act rocked. I can't remember it. I, I did see that. It's a really cool movie. There's a it's, great scene. There's a great scene where they're because it's all the kids it's like making a party, their movie. Right? No, they're all the all the little kids are wanting to make a movie and they like get Elle Fanning to come and act in it and and they're like about to do the scene and all the friends are doing bad stuff oh. and then she goes to do a monologue and it's fucking really good and then all of a sudden they're like okay so we're gonna film now and then a train whips by and they're like production value and they run and have her stand by a train and so uh -huh. you can't hear her performance at all and i always thought that was a great parable for what happens to young filmmakers it's like this great That's moment funny but there's a cool scene where the little one of the kids does makeup for her it's this kind of neat tender intimate moment mm. and then they have to like so that first act with all the kids it was kind of like almost felt like stranger things actually it really, oh, really? did there's like the first act of and it's got a great opening and then all of a sudden it just goes off the rails and <laughs> becomes about all this stuff but, but that's but i like right? that movie a lot and that was his writing but it was you know it was jj abrams kind of like movie i remember mm. seeing that in theaters and liking it but but then it just goes nuts <laughs> it just goes off the rails. it really does yeah because uh. the, the, and i think in some ways i always felt like stranger things kind of picked up what a, what super eight kind of threw out there you know right. which was like why don't we just hang out with these kids and like the have their the relations yeah yeah because then they cut to like the cop and all this stuff. It's, if you actually look at the story, it's there's all the same shit. Like it's all the same mm. archetypes. Uh, do, 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 do. Not uh, not any work. Oh, does have some homebrew, but not any work in progress. Not released. However, Wow War, Arcade. Okay. Uh, the definitive, definitive simul simultaneous multiplayer list hasn't been updated since 2008. Oh, that's a problem. Since Heath Ledger died. Yeah. So you need to read the entire thread for some of this later homebrews. Okay, well, I'll, I'll check that out. Um, let me load that up so I have it. Um, so next episode is on Friday uh, with Darcy. It is, we're going to be playing 2600 Triss Barnstorming. Yes. Uh, for another patch. And I think that one's hard. 
but achievable if I yeah. try really hard. That's a really hard one. Um, and then whoever, who knows what pops up. Like yeah. this, this game came out of nowhere. Like literally it was like seven days ago, a week Hell ago. Yeah. So anything could pop up. I know there's some in the works that I am expecting. Some amazing ones. But it'll, uh, you never know when they're going to be ready. Yeah. Um, and then later on, September, October, probably October, John Champo's developer spotlight um and also it's coming up we're gonna have two weeks off because uh the whole basement here is gonna be ripped to shreds Ooh. carpet's coming out the f sideboards are coming out and a walk-in closet's gonna be put Man, in our bedroom no. so everything goes upstairs which is chaos um so maybe we'll be able to broadcast but from upstairs but it's highly unlikely because all this setup is very hard to recreate in a different environment. And it's a real, real drag when you're doing something, trying to do it live, and you don't have your tools to do yeah, it. And I, all of a I sudden, need all the things. Well, yeah, man. It's handy it, too, like all these controllers and stuff, right? It's just rough if you're trying to do it, and it's embarrassing too when you're in the middle of a show when you're trying to, make, and you can't, you don't have your regular yeah. stuff to, to like deal with it. And... It's, it's difficult. It's it's not a basement. It's a half half below ground. So we have yeah, windows. Yeah. Um, this changes my mental environment of <laughs> your environment. It's a two floor uh, townhouse, but we're kind of below, we're technically below ground, half below. Our heads are below ground right now. Yeah. But if we stand up, we're. James's house down. is as close to a bunker as you can get. <laughs> well, I'll put it that way. <laughs> there's, that really changes their mental. Yeah, man. Like when, when all this stuff went down for COVID, I was like, Split level. I was like, I know who's going to be fine. <laughs> it's not me. So far, so good. <laughs> Uh, there were cats. There was yeah. There was some kittens. The target's right around. over there. Pixel actually was here for a bit and was was kind of wrecking with our stuff, man. He was. Oh, we'll give it, say hello to Atari. He's very sleepy. He's in baby mode right now. Yeah. There you go. Can you see him on the camera? I bet you can. I'm sure you can. Yeah, there in the corner. He's just hanging out. But he's like, I'm really sleepy, guys. He's like, can I just lay down there? Lay down there. There we go. What could he possibly be tired from doing, though? Well, this is his major sleep, no. From eating and running around, that's yeah, it. Yeah, you just adjust to the new norm. Well, that's there was an Atari did. sleeping by the cat cam during the show. Uh, so he was in and out, and same with same with Pixel was yeah, in Pixel and out. Pixel was here for a minute. Page three, comment minute. 54 is an updated list as of 2014 of simultaneous multiplayer games. That's very helpful. Then we can track down the rest of them. Atari, Atari, Atari. Let me put my Atari in there, too. Cats. There we go. Boom. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> um. So, yep. And then we're going to be playing Burt game next Tuesday, maybe. Um, and other things that come up. So we shall see. The adventures so, continue. The adventures continue. So thanks, everybody, for hanging out on this very special reveal show. I love those shows. They're so much fun. And good games. Very, very, very good games. Super advanced 2600 games. So I'm really amazed at what this community continues to put out. And they just keep raising the bar and raising it higher and, and higher. Well, thank you very much, CD-W, for all your amazing work on Xevious. And uh, we will definitely be playing some more of that on later shows. 100,000 points expert. <laughs> that's your, that's someone, if patch. someone can do it, man, and it's you get the expert the Zevious difference patch. Between children and men is what, that's that, right. is what that is. Thank you, nice reveal. It was awesome. Okay, we're gone, and we'll see you on Friday. Bye, Bye. everyone.